in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed this is Bethel, the place of bread. We receive grace to be nourished in the spirit. We receive understanding, illumination, insight, light. For that light shineth in darkness and darkness cannot comprehend it. Please pray from the depth of your heart. Lord, I cry for understanding. Thou, O Lord, are the fountain of light. It is in thy light that we see light. Illuminate our path, O God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Prophesy to yourself in one minute. The word of God is producing results in my life. Go ahead and prophesy. The Holy Spirit is at work in me and is causing the word to produce in my life. Are you praying? Shala prasko di bariata ko zabrandish. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above. Some power and Sing it out again. Our God, our God is an awesome God. God he reigns from heaven above. He gives some power and God. Sing it two more times from the depth of your heart. Our God is an awesome God. God he give us understanding tonight we're gathered tonight because we need you we need to learn and we are humble to learn we ask that your word will prevail over our lives prevail over our minds prevail over our circumstances and lord even if you have, as you have declared this is our year of triumph and we triumph on all sides in jesus name i'd like you to hug everyone around you and please be seated god bless you generously greet and hug someone I've said this prophetically that we will all be great and the beautiful part of it is that we'll all know ourselves it will happen the mouth of the Lord has spoken it in the name of Jesus thank you once again I want us to just give all those sitting at the overflows one and two and those online um, we're going to give them a very big round of applause just to appreciate them. It takes a lot of sacrifice. Thank you. If I were you outside, I would clap for myself too. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And appreciate yourself for being obedient. That's how we eat of the fruit of the land. Hallelujah. The mystery of exemption, part two. 
the mystery of exemption part two tonight's teaching is very powerful not powerful just because of the dispensing of the word but its ability to produce results in our lives you know through the week as i just spent a little time with god i wrote something down that i would want to read verbatim just the way it came to my spirit i wanted to listen i said many believers have a lot of zeal and passion but their understanding about realities spiritual realities is so small they hardly experience any sustainable growth breakthrough or victory listen carefully many believers have a lot of zeal and passion these were my contemplations during the week but their understanding about spiritual realities is so small they hardly experience any sustainable growth breakthrough or victory and then i wrote this the cure is submitting oneself intensely to teachings that supply useful informations and broaden our comprehension of spiritual things this is what i preferred as the cure for this state of spiritual bankruptcy where on one side a man can have all the zeal required but another side he may not be able to sustain his growth breakthrough and i said the cure is not just to listen but to submit yourself it comes from the word baptizo like a baptism you baptize yourself intensely to teachings that supply useful information and broaden your comprehension of spiritual things and that's what god is helping us to do we've been looking at a number of strategic series that empower us to triumph and um, we took a break last week so that we could take out time to celebrate the easter and the communion the mystery of exemption how real is exemption is there such a reality in the spirit is there a provision in the dealings of god with men where a man can be exempted genesis chapter 4 verse 13 let's start from there tonight media let's work together tonight genesis chapter 4 verse 13 the reality of exemption everyone please read we're reading to verse 15 one to read this was hold on this was a situation between cain and god are we together now cain haven't discovered that he killed his brother god pronounced certain judgments upon him and this was the response of cain one to read and cain said to the lord uh-huh my punishment is greater than i can bear 14. behold thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth and from the face from thy face shall i be hid and i shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth and it shall come to pass this was his fear that everyone that findeth me hold on before we go to 15 everyone that finds me no specific i mean look at this kind of tragedy in a man's life everyone that finds you destroys you and then something happened in verse 15 the first demonstration or the second demonstration outside of the garden of eden where we see a man being exempted 15 read on please and the lord said unto him therefore whosoever slayeth cain vengeance shall be taken on him and the lord set a mark upon a man he had cursed this was his request reduce my punishment oh god i know i'm already cursed you have made me by your pronouncement a fugitive and a vagabond and everyone that means there was another mark he said anyone that sees me will kill me and the bible says and the lord set a mark upon cain why lest any finding him should kill him does that mark still exist today where god can put upon a person less any sickness finding you will kill you less any catastrophe 
exemption is a reality you have to believe this in the economy of god the aspect and the dimension of kingdom reality you believe is what will become your experience it is important to listen to men of god listen to pastors it is important to be loyal to people but you are only loyal to them provided they are loyal to the word if a man is not loyal to the word i will not listen to him because he will peg me around his limitation and present his limitation to be the full portrait of all that there is in god so believing him in innocence i will still be bankrupt of certain dimensions of spiritual reality paul said follow me as i follow christ meaning if you find at any point that i'm not interested in developing myself in the knowledge of god you are authorized to divorce yourself from your loyalty to me and he set a mark upon him exodus chapter 8 22 and 23 let's give the second scripture tonight and then we'll begin to build exodus I like us to read it we're reading 22 and 23 together one to read and i will severe in that day read on the land of goshen in which my people dwell listen and that no swarms of flies shall be there to the end that thou mayest know that i am the lord in the midst of the earth last verse and i will between my people and thy people and he says tomorrow shall this sign be exemption is a sign a signboard leads somewhere when i get to a place and i see someone's hair and a clipper upon it it is a signboard saying there is a barbing saloon close that means when god exempts you it's a sign that the hand of god is within the vicinity at work in the life of a man he says tomorrow shall this sign what sign a division swarm of flies will come and devour people and their crops and their savings and everything but i will put a division say lord exempt me shout it with faith lord exempt me exemption is real it is a reality in the system of god there are men there are ministries there are organizations that are working in the reality of that truth and the goal of this teaching is to help us you cannot boastfully speak of triumph in a year when you are watching things kill people i think it was kenny who was over at my place briefly just for a word and then um he met me having a conversation with ejimi we're discussing something very serious and then he said i think a woman i don't know maybe the woman is here a dear woman of god who lost two children concurrently i think within this vicinity lost a child they went to bury the child before they came back or i think immediately they came back another one died don't ever tell me that's a natural death no sir i know god enough to know witchcraft when i see it are we together and i will put a division a division God, please pay attention to what i'm teaching you i have taught again and let me say this the realities of the kingdom are available in christ but they are accessible through understanding backed up by obedience that's what the bible calls faith faith is not quoting scripture faith is the journey of faith starts with your understanding and accurate comprehension not just of what god has said the end of understanding is you know your role in the equation if you don't know the part you have to play you have not understood it there are so many people listen carefully there are so many people who want the things god has said but they do not they even have the zeal to obey but they are they are in confusion as to what their roles the role that you have to play obedience is key if you are to experience anything in the kingdom deuteronomy 28 verse 1 says it shall come to pass in that day if thou shalt 
diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord. It says to do and observe all that I command thee to do and observe, not discuss and wish, not desire and intend to do and observe all that I command thee this day, that this blessing shall come upon you, overtake you, right? And all of that. You shall be exalted above all the nations of the earth. This blessing shall come upon you and overtake you. So many believers are living in an illusion that because God is so mighty, he will not allow them die like that. After all, Jesus gave his only son. Let me tell you something. This thing called the will of man is an implication on us. The will of man stops God from assuming man needs his help your obedience is proof of your dependency in, on god it is costly to sit down and assume that after all god knows i need his help god knows i'm tired of poverty god knows i don't want death god knows the background i come from god knows the witchcraft in my family you have to engage the world through understanding and complete obedience complete obedience say amen the next time you pick your bible don't just search for what god has said search for what he told you to do to see what he has said this is how believers become matured let me tell you something brothers and sisters many of the continual woes in people's lives is not because the outstretched arm of the lord cannot show up it is because they are waiting and hoping that because Jesus died upon the cross one day he will change my finances one day he will take away evil from my life that day may never come it says there remaineth a rest Hebrews 3 4 for the people of God there remaineth a rest it says if you hear his voice harden not your heart as they did in the provocation in the wilderness and died the day you hear his voice is potentially the day of your breakthrough the meter of your success starts reading from the day you obey not from the day you hear you can hear god when you were 10 years and obey him when you are 40. the meter reads that you have obeyed god for one year obedience is what counts are we together not just blind obedience obedience based on understanding because you can obey nonsense you can obey what pastor said you can obey what apostle said but only hope that what apostle said is really what god said come i can give an instruction and god says let's go right that's how we are going to get the result are we together now and then you move left you see that with that kind of instruction listen two things will happen number one you stand a chance of being destroyed because although you are obeying my word is not consistent with the word of god now let me tell you something i've learned about god i've shared it here the mercy of god which is the last dimension of this series we are going to consider are we together now is such that because you obeyed me totally believing that i came from god god will remove that breakthrough and relocate it to your direction of obedience it should not have happened but because you will have to honor your faith because you received me as touching christ then god will deal with me now for misleading you so that one is between me and god but you are not going to be punished for obeying me as passive this is why you will see a man of god teach nonsense people will obey and still get breakthrough it's not because what the man is teaching is right it's because the testimony of god is upon their obedience and so god will prove himself then the man of god erroneously will justify that because it worked it meant it was correct no as you walk with god a day will come when god will say if you do it again i will deal with you i've been keeping quiet and you have been manipulating money from people the other time you lied that i sent you to a jimmy to collect hundred thousand he gave you and he got a car and you claimed it was a sign that you are you are apostle joshua selman if you tell anybody to give you money again i will personally reveal myself to you in the night vision 
Say obedience. Mary said, whatever he tells you to do, do it. Can we pray just for a minute and say, Lord, the spirit of disobedience. You know there's such a spirit? Pray. Get it out of my life, oh God. I'm tired of the way it has been cheating me and shortchanging my destiny. Cast it, oh. Be very serious about it. There are many of us, the moment God tells you to do something, there is a spirit that refuses you from obeying. Tithe! And the spirit said, don't worry. They are just trying to destroy your money. You are sick and God says, take the communion. He said, all this nonsense, I don't want to look like a child. Cast it! It's a spirit of disobedience. No, oh yes. We will obey Yes to your will Yes to your ways Oh yes Lord Hallelujah Praise the Lord God bless you, thank you very much Let's do a quick revision um, in the last discussion that we had together we agreed that the first key the first principle prescribed by god for any individual any group of people to experience exemption is what we call the god first principle everyone say it after me yeah the god first principle according to matthew chapter 6 verse 33 the bible says to seek first his kingdom and i told us that when god becomes secondary in our lives we have signed in for disaster god must become first and all not first alone first and all first and all are we together anytime god becomes first alone that's not enough he must be first and all that's what gives meaning to every other thing that comes in your life and then the second thing we talked about is the mystery of kingdom service and we stop there am i right the mystery of kingdom service and i told us there are three dimensions to kingdom service we took on number one and we said soul winning and establishment please make sure you don't forget we agreed that soul winning talks of helping men find jesus and leading men to embrace the lordship of jesus over their lives and we examined a few scripture i don't want us to go there i'll just quote them quickly daniel chapter 12 verse 3 it says and they that be wise shall be like the firmament and they that turn many to righteousness as the brightness of the heavens even forevermore and um the Bible also said in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, 18 to 20, that God has given us the ministry and the word of reconciliation. Both the ministry and the word of reconciliation. And we looked at Proverbs 11 verse 30. The Bible says, he that winneth souls is wise. And remember what um, David said about wisdom. He said, with me are riches wealth and honor yea durable riches and righteousness it says by me kings reign and princes decree justice so part of the benefits of soul winning is that you have access to the wisdom of god that will produce results in your life so we'll take it off from there the second dimension of kingdom service that we must engage for supernatural exemption is service in the house of god write it down kingdom service service in the house of god exodus please exodus 23 and then we'll look at 25 to 26 please make sure you write it down and you follow carefully service in the house of god very few believers have been taught that service in the house of god is a system created by god for men to experience supernatural exemption exodus chapter 23 25 and 26 okay let's read it one two go and ye shall serve the lord your god uh-huh four things 
he will do four things i want us to understand what is your own part of the deal you shall and then when you do serve him he shall bless your bread and your water that's number one number two he shall take away sickness from the midst of thee number three verse 26 there shall nothing cast her young or be barren so we see the blessing of fruitfulness and finally the number of thy days i will fulfill all this and more just for serving in the house of god now listen carefully most believers think service in the house of god is a way to help the man of god and help his vision or help the church grow it is a very dangerous understanding part of the kingdom responsibility of any and every believer is to contribute actively to the advancement of his kingdom and that involves making sure that every structure and platform he has put together finds an atmosphere and an environment where people can be saved built equipped and empowered to represent his purposes and that includes service service in the house of god as prescribed by god in fact when the lord was sending moses to pharaoh this is what he said go and tell pharaoh let my people go that they may go and serve me serve me there are many people who have gotten more results than even their personal spiritual lives because they have subscribed to the foolishness of kingdom service are we together now many people do not know that service in the house of god brings blessings many people pity the man of god and say there's nobody holding camera guy let me not waste my nigerian tv college certificate let me just come and help them the moment you have an idea that you are helping a man of god or helping a ministry you have destroyed your potential for blessing through service are we together now every worker in the house of god is an employee by god you have to understand this every genuine worker in the house of god is an employee by god what a privilege to be in the labor force of god you work for people you don't trust their integrity you don't trust them there is no guarantee of their reward and here comes the king of the ages recruiting men and women to make sure that his house is served properly do you believe who lied to you that you will serve the king of kings look there are men who serve god for a living i'm not talking of pastors they serve their way into unimaginable breakthroughs as good as soul winning is do you know it's a terrible thing and this has been the foundation of our teaching even in this ministry that you are born again and not actively useful your energy your wisdom your creativity is not contributing i cannot sit down in a place and be comfortable that the grace the gift the creativity the the energy that god has given me is not participating in the building of the lord's house that when souls are saved you cannot say my energy contributed my wisdom contributed to making this happen i was part of those who set the sound for those outside to hear the word of the lord and be saved i'm part of those who clean the altar to make it conducive i'm part of those moving around when someone fell under the anointing as that demon was flying out of his life i held him if your energy cannot be accounted for as being used to serve God you qualify for disaster it's not a threat it's the truth Job 36 verse 11 read with me people of God Job 36 verse 11 Job 36 please give it to us Job 36 verse 11 one to read if they obey and serve him uh-huh 
they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure what's the condition if they obey and so if bill gates money if bill gates energy if bill gates institute is contributing if zuckerberg's facebook is contributing to advancing the kingdom he qualifies to profit more than a tongue-talking christian whose energy are we together now if they obey and serve him the moment your energy you remember the bible says love the lord with all your heart uh-huh with all your might all your strength everything about you must contribute in that process you can't say i love god that no 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 the worship songs that lift the spirit of men did they come from your secret place or are you just a recipient you came to the house of god and saw chairs cleaned and you argued and fought with people and sat down and god is watching when i was falling down why didn't you catch me you just allowed me to fall down like that and god is watching listen you can serve your way out of any cause and any yoke i've said it years years and i will repeat it again i i don't want to use the word fear like dread but i have a great respect for people who serve me in christ and serve god because i know they are walking their way to an enviable dimension service Malachi chapter 3, 17 and 18. I'll serve, I'll serve, I'll serve you, Lord, forever. I'll serve, I'll serve, I'll serve you, Lord, forever. I'll do my best i'll do my best i'll do my best for you i'll do my best i'll do my best i'll do my best for you my best lord is everything i have my best lord I give all I have to you. You made me great. You made me special. These guys don't know the song. You made me great. I give all I have to you. Yeah, you made me great. You made me special. You made me great. I give all I have to you. My best Lord is everything I have. My best Lord, I give all I have to you. My best Lord is everything I have. My best Lord, I give all I have to you. Listen, this used to be our national anthem those times when we were preparing for crusade. We would sing it and dance as we walked ourselves out like fools it was a song i wrote as a love song to god a a declaration of my surrender how could i give him less you know when you go to buy clothes they will tell you there's this time but if you really have money let's climb up there is a section i don't have that kind of thing with god everything he finds is all of me hmm. service malachi chapter 3 verse 17 and 18 let's read it one to read and they shall be mine uh-huh in that day when i shall make up my jewels i will spare them read on as a man spared his son not that loves him that serves him next verse then shall you return and discern between the righteous and the wicked uh-huh between him that serveth god and him that serveth him 
There is a difference, so sister, don't let anybody fool you and say keep serving all these stupid people. That's how everybody will marry and leave you. Just hold on. God will give you a man that is equivalent to your salary of 30 years. While the rest are there using WhatsApp to connect and arranging you are serving. Do you know sometimes people can mock you as you serve God? They'll say you are serving God so that you get husband. Is that not a good reason? Is that not a good reason? Is it not better to serve God and be sure of what he gives? Oh, come on now. Many workers in the house of God are turned to be fools because they spend their time, they spend their energy, and when people who don't understand spiritual things look at them, they say, but Abba, Sam, you are underutilizing your potential. That's what they say. Simply because in many circles, maybe the people are not staff of the ministry and may not be receiving anything like a salary. And so men, you see newspapers insulting men of God and say the labor force they should have employed, they now get people in many churches while they are building you will see wealthy people come and they are trying to put it and they insult the men let me tell you certain things about your service that makes it fruitful number one your service must be willing if you serve god out of compulsion you will never receive a reward from me please understand this this is why as a ministry we never coerce people you don't manipulate people using courses and say if you don't say no 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 that's that's manipulation if there be first a willing mind willing mind service it must be willing number two it must be with joy it must be with joy you don't serve God with joy forget about your reward believe what I'm telling you grumbling all around say oh, today is Tuesday again we are just going to pray only God knows where apostle is we are just suffering to pray for him and he's enjoying let me tell you you speak like that God will punish you and the covenant I have with him will punish you two things against you very bad statement and when you stand ba, 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 and there you see people pray all their heart and say why are they doing this did they charm them that's the same way when they are enjoying the blessings and you talk God will say keep quiet thank God you saw them when they were praying like fools brothers and sisters I show you the 21st century investment serving God serving God banks will not teach you this oh serving God wholeheartedly with all your heart you are giving God everything you are sweeping the house of God and you know sometimes I watch these people when the power of God begins to move and sometimes people are around under the anointing coughing all kinds of things and you see all those ushers coming and I'm saying my God look at this Sometimes they are there scrubbing the toilets, cleaning the toilet. People with dignity and respite and their reputation, they throw it on the ground just because of the house of God. If you were God, will you leave them like that? Please answer me. If you have been evil. No, I think I'm compassionate enough to see someone who is serving sincerely and not let him go hungry. Let me tell you something. If you know you are serving God, especially in this ministry, wholeheartedly, you have a right to claim a reward i teach the leaders you can go before god and say lord i am in your payroll no witch no devil no darkness i'm serving lord i swept your house with sincerity lord i was cooking the food this is the evidence of the firewood this is it this pain is a sky is a testament lord when i was given an assignment to lead prayer i did it with all my heart unto you when i was serving as a head of department it's not eye service with joy the bible says shall you draw there are many angry preachers when they come on stage you know they are angry as though the members are not blessing me 
I'm here blessing you and you're not. Please, pastors, don't harass any member they didn't call you. Go and meet the person who called you. Don't harass any member with money and all of that. Do you know, let me tell you something. Let me digress and talk about this money thing. If you manipulate people to bless you, number one, that money will never be useful to you and you rob them of their blessing. The secret of being blessed from people, raise them. Raise men, not money. Raise men. Empower people. Pour your heart and teach them everything. And they will surprise you. Some of you will build me houses in the future. No, 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 you will. You will. It's not whether you like me or not. You will be too blessed to forget about me. It's a programming. Something is happening to you. I know you think I'm just motivating you. And then tomorrow someone will be angry. And say, what is it about this guy? You know, let me tell you. Let me teach you a secret of greatness. Find people who are weak and start investing in them. Grow with them. They, you can change their future, but you can't change history. Your name is already imprinted in their starting up days. Not that you see somebody who you did invest in. Just because he has a car, you say, it's my son. Are you stupid? What did you contribute in his life? That's why nobody calls a blind person his son. Nobody calls a deaf person my daughter because they are looking for privileges. But there is a way you will bless somebody and pour your heart. And they say, Lord, bless me. Let me find something to do to this person. True wealth is men. The result of their impact and their gratitude to you for changing their lives. All this run around one, two, you have not said anything. You are saying, Sam, I've been seeing you changing clothes and I've not eaten of your, your reward. That's, 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 a, that's a lot of foolishness. No. God is my witness and I say it in the open. That I don't have any special person that I corner and say, please, you are a, a, an elite a group of people. You are the ones who will be servicing me. That's why I walked the word for myself. You see why it's good to be blessed? So that you can preach and not depend on anybody who tells you preach on, on enemies. Then they change your message simply because they, they are buying generator. You carry your generator and go away with it. Never mix money and ministry. You will be doing a very foolish thing. And not every seed is collectible some seeds are your birthright please don't be foolish pastors i don't know why i'm speaking to you now not every seed is collectible some seeds are you are collecting your dignity you are you are you are trading away your dignity and your destiny you must discern not everything is worthy of receiving bible says a man of honor who does not know will die like a beast in the field let's continue service in the house of God it must be joyful God is my witness I know God be my witness in the midst of your people I have never I have never since God began to walk with me way before koinonia and this I have never for once turned and complain and say God Kai, this ministry Friday again or this day again those who are close to me know that my work schedule will take the grace of God. Otherwise, you'll fall down and die one day. And I do it joyfully. Tomorrow, we're in Gombe. Preaching again and casting every devil out and we're happy. I do these things not because any man is paying me. I do it first because I love him. But I know that it is a mystery. Do you know, let me tell you something. Do you know what people call job? is simply the rat race of trying to make ends meet. When God really blesses you, you find out that there's not much to do in life. Truly, truly, there is not much to do in life. I think it was during the leaders training I was teaching them this. When you are really blessed, if your salary is 100,000, let's even be fair, 200,000 per month. In one year, that's 2.4 million. In 10 years, that's 24 million. Right? All things being equal in 20 years, that's 48 million. So, you are working 
and that's what you plan to get if god gives you 60 million now you get up in the morning when people are walking you just be strolling and say what exactly do i do today so you see that listen this occupancy we claim to be busy is simply we are trying to look for money to build so you have a 10 year project to build a house and you get it one by one but you can serve your way to a god who does not pay a fixed price he pays according to his riches not according your boss pays listen listen don't think i'm flattering you when you are in god's payroll laugh laugh for be happy service there are many people who have cheated themselves to serve your way into that child i've been burying for five years and you sit down and all you do is just come and sit down and be pulling your mouth and say kai why is the house of god hot today and the devil says continue this is the kind of people we like there is a way you can sweep any nonsense out of your life as you sweep the house of god and people are looking at you and saying ah, ah, all these guys apostle is standing they are standing how about even the ladies are standing do you know even during night vigils they stand what kind of punishment is this they say look at how church has torn your head and god here you know god hears people yeah lord i do it as unto you i'm tired but i carry the chairs yes i'm tired but i carry the chairs i was i sometimes i look at the ushers and they are so trained in my opinion i think our ushers are one of the best trained ushers in terms of sensitivity truly speaking and response to the spirit i have traveled to many places great churches big churches and it's surprising when the power of god begins to break out because most times the power of god breaks out at special events so the people know in koinonia anything can happen i can be talking now and somebody is flying up before you know it there's an usher there they have the sensitivity it's a training all that training just for an usher that's the training of a pastor when you finish that training should you be an usher to be that sensitive to hold people but he's watching brothers and sisters hear me i remember and i always share this there is none of us today that just got up and started ministry every one man of god that i know especially those who came out of zaria you can trace their history to times of dogged kingdom service i jokingly used to tell people i think 1994 95 thereabout i used to play keyboard for a man called reverend emmanuel amechi ani power praise chapel they started it we would have our local assembly and i would trek with my own keyboard i would carry it and go there and i'm just playing little did i know that one day that little shepherd will also become king because that's how he watches you are behind the throne you better leave it and stay and focus on 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 making sure the sheep of god is healthy many of you just eye every throne you see that's why you keep fantasizing the secret to the throne is in your servicing the sheep i remember i would play keyboard for them afterwards they would just come and hug me bless you and on my way home trekking I always say this only two things i received only two things from that ministry wonderful people don't have any i don't even know where they are today during the launching of the man's cassette no cds then they gave me one bottle of fanta and one free cassette that's all i got for laborious service i carry my keyboard by myself i walk like a madman and i get one bottle of fanta and and uh, and cassette he was into prison's ministry but god was watching you see that many of you just see before you start admiring people find out their track record they have a track record of service genuine service koinonia is where when people come they throw away their golden crown 
nobody comes to do any big man you are either serving god or you sit down there don't come and say i am a you don't come here outside and say please prepare a special seat and if you are special we know once they don't know you find somewhere and sit down you don't come and say look i'm here together with my peer no no we don't do that kingdom service you want to experience triumph you must be willing to serve god and serve in the house of god your energy your time your zeal your gift joyfully not complaining and say i don't like my head of department tells everybody thank you except me he didn't employ you no he should say so but if he doesn't turn to god and say lord you are the one i'm serving i serve you with all my heart lord you see every time i pray here lord you see every time during the rehearsals i spend hours and hours do you know let me tell you something and i want to submit to you i consider myself to be one of the most privileged man of god of my age range and my level i truly believe so god has given one of the best sets of workers in koinonia i've told them too many times i think you should clap you really should clap hallelujah it is difficult to find a ministry where men are very anointed gifted and yet very loyal and sincere and true you don't find it you never find arguments going on in, uh, during the leaders meeting uh, no, no 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 total submission total loyalty to god there are departments i don't visit for months and they never bend to the standards they are giving the leaders serve with sincerity and truth it's one of the secrets to my ministerial efficiency because most of the time is spent in prayer and the word and general oversight not going around to monitor because you suspect that this are no 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 faithful people are we together and among other reasons is because we sowed that seed of faithfulness so we are not surprised do you serve god joyfully and have you been indoctrinated and laughed at sisters i speak to you particularly because there is this madness that flies around the moment they see a young lady serving in the house of god people just look at her those who say ah she's just serving because of husband others are saying she's just serving because uh, all these ladies just wasting away jerry look at a fine girl like this will now come and make herself an idiot in church who told you the house of god is a place where destinies are wasted who preached that to you where did you get that indoctrination that the house of god dries up the potentials of people let me tell you the future some of you what you are doing now is already the price for the future when you see men running around god will say i forbid you you have served too much to serve men i'm, I'm speaking to you from my heart tonight how can i bow down before you and then bow down before a man no way no way hey how can i kneel down before you and then kneel down before a man no way you must serve somebody in life either god or your shrine where you are coming out from that you are supposed to be the next priest you left carelessly at the altar is still crying for a servant you better secure yourself serving god there are many people who do not know that service is a mystery of exemption you can't be idle on uh, idle on earth a master will occupy you 
you don't serve God, you serve sickness. You don't serve God, you serve pain. You don't serve God, you serve a bad and wicked and foolish and stupid man. You don't serve God, you serve another demonic roaming around your family. Let me tell you, any arrow sent from anywhere will come and meet me serving. It will bounce back a thousand times. Because there is a system. There is an insurance system in God for those who serve him. He says he suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sake, saying, Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. He said, I shall not die, but live and declare. As I'm serving, I immune myself from death. I think I was discussing with a few people um, a few days ago. Look at me. Let me say something. Dominion. Dominion is not running away from things because of fear of Satan. It's prevailing over them and triumphing over them. Are you getting what I'm saying? Let me give you an instance. I think a discussion came up and then um, someone was asking a question and then I tried to clarify it. If I'm supposed to go and preach now, and you have a vision or a dream a true vision that my car is having an accident i will still go you see i will not allow that vision stop me from preaching my limitation is only the voice of god not the fear of death dominion is to change it and go anyway that's dominion if you allow fear destroy you you will not do many things are we together yeah there are too many people being governed by fear they claim to be walking in dominion they have the money for flights they will never fly because every time they're about to fly they see something in the night let me tell you something brothers and sisters you are not glorifying god if you live an escapism life you are always escaping i just saw sam that there will be an accident and then sam says i'm not going again let's just be careful one day that ah, ah. you've not seen people sit quietly in their houses and a truck came and killed them the name of the lord rather is a strong tower the righteous enter so as i'm driving i'm in the name the boss collides with the name before it collides with me this is my understanding and you know i travel a lot we're about traveling tomorrow now i'm saying these demons are hearing me the spirit of death is hearing me they are probably going to stand in the road to kill me tomorrow and i'll be back on friday now you imagine that kind of frustration <laughs> apostle don't speak like this oh apostle we love you don't don't trouble them and they don't trouble i trouble them big time that's where i'm alive don't trouble them <laughs> you don't fear two people if you fear god that's enough how can i bow down before you and then bow down before me no way How can I sing a song before you, and then sing a song before men? No way. No way. Because you are my God. He's not our God, He's my God. You are my God. It's a revelation of Him that I have. It's a covenant with Him that I have. Listen, a fish never fears plane crash because it has no business with the air. Are we together? So when the Bible says, I am far above, I have no business with certain realities. They only affect you when you dwell in that realm. I don't know how to make you believe this thing. Listen, I speak not only because God said it, 
I speak because I found what I have to do to make it work. When you make boastful statements like this without knowing your part, you will die like a chicken. The very next day, the car will so butcher you leg and head together and scatter you. I've seen the spirit of death. I I've told you. Yes. I wish I were an artist. I would have drawn it for you. You see, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. These spirits know men. They know those who know them. It's like somebody who is from your neighborhood and goes somewhere where they don't know him and says, my father is the CEO of Guarantee Trust Bank. And all of a sudden, you just come and say, ah, how oh, now? Let's go home. And say, you are falling my hand. That's how spirits work. When they enter a place, they search for who knows them. When they don't find, they start roaring. But when others step in, they say, oh, you give us where we have kingdom business to do. Kingdom business to do. Having the readiness to judge all disobedience when your obedience is complete. See, let me tell you. If I were faking this thing, you would have known now. I have laid hands on too many people with cancer to not have received it myself. I've laid hands on too many people with communicable diseases not to receive it myself. I have done this ministry work for a while. Medical science gives us a time range when exposing yourself to certain things will destroy you. This thing is in your presence. I do all of that. No. It's called Zoe. The life of God. There is a record that we have it. Wow rising gradually to walking in the fullness of it but it's no excuse for darkness when we see them we stamp them say amen. amen but are you serving your way because not everybody qualifies to enjoy this thing we're talking about there are people who your service your service cannot rise as a memorial unto god isaiah 18 let's walk this and go to the next one quickly we have to pray Isaiah 38, sorry. Isaiah 38. Media help us. Isaiah 38. Let's look at a very interesting story here about a death sentence over a man by a true prophet. Isaiah chapter 38. Are we there? Let me read it. When I get to a place where all of us will join, I would let us know. In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. Sick unto what? New Living Translation. Don't turn there, but our new... Don't, don't give us New Living Translation. Modern day translation is an incurable disease. An incurable disease is a disease unto death. It says, in those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him saying, listen... Thus saith who? Not a demon. The Lord. Set thine house in order for thou shalt and not live. Isaiah was not a false prophet. He spoke from the mouth of the Lord. Let's see something that Hezekiah did. Verse 2. Then Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed unto the Lord. Let's see the content of the prayer. Verse 3. And he said, remember now, O Lord, I beseech thee how i have walked before you in truth and with a perfect heart and i have done that which is good in thy sight when you read about as Ez a you find out that he served god with his life his resources were coming to that and hezekiah wept so lord is this how you reward your servants will i serve you and now die that men will say i served you and you killed me verse 4 then came the word of the Lord again to Isaiah saying, Go and say to Hezekiah, Thus saith the Lord God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will add, Unto thy days fifteen years. Verse 6. I will deliver thee and this city out of the king of Assyria. And I will defend this city. He reminded God. Do you have the petitions that you take before God? And say, Lord, look at the devil destroying my family. I'm a faithful servant in your house. Lord, last week, 100 people got born again. And oh God, I was part of those who led them outside. 
remember and God arises and says, no you are putting pressure on my integrity I must arise and act for you hallelujah it must be willing it must be joyful and you must serve God with diligence diligence you don't serve God with laziness and slackness you don't serve God with slothfulness you serve him willingly you serve him joyfully you serve him diligently let's go to the next one the next dimension of kingdom service so there's soul winning and establishment there is service in the house of god and then number three kingdom investments serving god with your resources kingdom investments one of the strangest mysteries of exemption kingdom investment it literally is an investment serving God with your resources serving God with your resources Zechariah chapter 1 verse 17 popular scripture we all know it it says cry yet saying thus saith the Lord Zechariah not Zephaniah cry yet saying thus saith the Lord my cities he says through prosperity shall be spread abroad and I will yet comfort Zion cry yet say thus saith the Lord my cities through prosperity shall yet be spread abroad and the Lord shall yet comfort Zion and shall choose Jerusalem my cities shall through prosperity listen i want you to know that financial resources and other kinds of human resources play a major role in kingdom advancement don't mind those who tell you money is not important in kingdom advancement no that's not true that's a wrong theology we have money mongers and we have those who are frustrated with the issue of money both of them are wrong money is important just like the anointing financial resources are important for kingdom activities and God's system is such that listen men wholeheartedly commit their lives their resources and everything to the building of the kingdom by faith in obedience and total trust and they in turn schedule seasons of untold breakthroughs and blessings is how the system of God works my cities through prosperity shall be spread abroad so whoever contributes with his resources to making the house of the Lord built to making sure that the activities of kingdom advancement keep on going that person qualifies for certain blessings please give us Psalm 112 verse 9 NIV if we can get it Psalm 112 verse 9 I love the rendition uh, that the NIV puts if we can have that Psalm 112 verse 9 this is the reason why many people Psalm did I say 112 122 I beg your pardon 122 Psalm 122 verse 9 I like us to read one to read for the sake of the house of the Lord our God I will seek your I seek it not just to buy jeeps and cars houses vacations that's too small a reason to subject yourself through the stringent laws of wealth but it is for the sake of your house I will seek your prosperity I'm trusting God to bless me with resources oh God so that I will contribute in getting your activities done listen please the message of prosperity is not a demonic message there is such a message 
called a message of prosperity and it is not a demonic message it may have been taught selfishly it may have been taught inaccurately but that does not stop the fact that there is such a message and it is part and parcel of the truths of the gospel that believers must learn and know is God's economic system where people empower the advancement of his kingdom and receive rewards listen listen kingdom investment has nothing to do with just tithes kingdom investment is not tithing kingdom investment is not worship offering kingdom investment is a sacrifice a commitment between you and god to commit your resources on a continuous basis to seeing that his house is built to seeing that his kingdom is advanced the gospel is preached lives are saved this is a commitment it is not a special thing that you gather believers and say okay right now all of you bring one one thousand naira it is the inaccurate understanding of the things of god that sometimes will have to necessitate those special events listen part of the financial system of my life every major money that comes to me i know that investing in the kingdom is part and parcel of my spiritual growth process no special event if x amount comes to me my tight god's portion is going i will never come to the house of god empty-handed i come with my worship offering joyfully there is a portion for my parents to bless their life there is a portion to bless people and improve on their lives but then there is a huge and i mean huge truly for the advancement of the kingdom i have a list of men of god i have a list of ministries that i sow into their life perpetually continually some per week some per month continually except resources don't come not big some of them don't even know me kingdom investment with all humility and i say this just to let some of us know not just to brag or make noise there are many programs that have happened in this city many programs that have happened around this nation and parts of the world that i just keep quiet i just carry a seed as god directs and i say you go and sow go and give that man of god sometimes i say just tell him no problem there's no need announcing it sometimes i say don't even tell them just go and sow this seed and i'm happy to see that my seed is saving souls i'm happy to see that someone's life posters are printed through my seed i'm happy this water now is probably someone's seed you see that this pulpit right now is someone's seed a commitment to contributing resource wise to see in the kingdom you don't have to wait i keep challenging believers listen i wish i'm not the one teaching you this but i love you too much i have a scriptural obligation to teach you the truth and that i will do regardless of how you feel i will teach you the truth don't think this is some system to coerce money no 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 no. i fear god too much to do that but i have to tell you the truth because it's what i'm also doing a true kingdom investor finds a need in the house of god he's not told about the need you find it the same way you find a need in a rich man's life out of psycho fancy to get project i say honorable i've seen that you've been wearing only two shoes and he says you won't believe that i have only three he said i brought five you see that you brought five because you are hoping that you will buy relationship and it will work for you hallelujah find a need in the house of god look three of us let's come together koinonia needs more cameras how much is it x amount let's come together let's do an inventory consult with these people the house of god oh i think that i have two thousand naira and my two thousand naira can buy three chairs in the house of god you come on friday dancing with three chairs three breakthroughs in your life 
as you drop it a sinner sits on that chair and the fire from heaven falls on him as he's getting born again let me tell you god is issuing a warning he sat on that chair to be blessed find a need don't wait until you are told you find a need ah, i look at this what can i do find a need but many believers don't they just sit down you need to see how believe offering time is, is one of the most irritating time in many churches offering time and somebody just brings out something and tells his wife or whoever do you have she says, no, just, they, take. they bring out 1000 they put it back they bring out 500 they put it back they bring out 200 naira the new one they put it back then they carry the old one say, oh, shall come and drop it and god is watching as soon as they finish they move straight to chicken republic and burn five thousand take ice cream for starters take all of this and call friends sometimes who are not godly let's come and enjoy and god sees your passion and then you lift your voice i love you lord god is saying you're a liar that's that's not true you don't love me god so loved the world that he gave is that same attitude that follows men in marriage is that same attitude that follows in everything when you love without giving you a liar and a hypocrite true love comes with giving passionate sincere giving let it be a sweet sweet sound in your ears when i lift up my seed before god as i sow those seeds i am happy it is my joy that i want to live my life in such a way that every month i'll be buying a bus for a church somewhere what a joy to get to a church and see and say what is your budget and they say we need a new cathedral how much 20 million and you say okay let me just have a private discussion with the pastor and say pastor just give me the plan send your engineers to supervise in three months that church is lifted quietly noiseless contribution you think god will allow men to will if you have a helper like that will you allow men kill him if your job is to pray for that person and the devil and god wakes you and says the devil wants to take his life oh no come on you will get an energy you never knew you had you will pray and say god it's better to take one of my legs than to kill that man but apostle i don't have much you will never have much you give your way to that much you give your way to that much you can sit down and say look what can I do for the worship team? We have just 100,000. Sam, this is for the dressing of the worship team. So they look good. This is to buy time for the media department. You don't have to come and say, make sure Apostle knows I'm the one. You have, you have killed and scattered and destroyed your potential. We live in a very political uh, Christianity where people like announcement and accolade. We are now announcing that Chief A and B is the one who gave that golf outside. You have destroyed everything. He says, as you give, let your right hand not know what you are. I'm not saying there's no place of honor. Don't get me wrong. What can I do for you, my Lord? I want you to know my heart. not a question of what you can do for me but what can i do for you my that's love that's genuine love by the grace of god let me tell you and i say it with all humility i don't want you to do it for me there are people here people here I know they have committed themselves with resources to say Joshua Selman it should never it should never happen that you are looking for water and my seed does not come see let me tell you I say it with all humility I'm a blessed man I'm not talking about your money at all I don't serve God because of money not at this level God has been faithful are you getting what I'm saying now so don't think it's some coercion so that somebody will just bring an envelope no no but I'm telling you, you don't practice this, you will not be exempted though, from the woes where the heavens of men will be brass and their earth iron. Sacrifice.
don't listen to these junks that people have have been warning you about people who don't fear god and don't know anything about god to be carnally minded the bible says is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace carnal people come and discuss all kinds of things you don't serve god with your resources you will serve sickness you will serve trouble you will serve divorce you will serve pain And serve your way and vow your way i think i've shared that testimony here how that there was a particular uh, man of god it, it was years ago he gave this testimony a very true one him and his wife god is my witness they were in a meeting and i think they needed to roof a church or something like that and whilst they were there the man of god preaching was challenging people to sow into the work of god you know genuinely not out of eye service and manipulation genuinely and the lord just spoke to the man clearly that he should give up his house his real house real estate his property to give up his house and move to a rented house can you imagine that costly instruction he didn't know how to tell his wife so according to him he said as soon as he held his wife's hand she started crying because the lord had told her the same thing too brothers may you marry a wife like that oh that will allow you obey god you marry a bad wife you will not be exempted may you marry a wife if all you are looking for is figure eight and you don't open up your spirit to pick signals that god can say this is what we are doing and your wife will say i may not understand but i trust you i trust the word of god upon your life say amen, amen. and be serious about what you just had go around and choosing nonsense and destroy your life because to be carnally minded is what death you won't know now by the time the euphoria of young life is gone you will start seeing what it means to live with a man or a woman who does not fear god god says go left he said no we are going right god says go right and you perish like jonah hallelujah I believe i have had a chance to repent had he not married jezebel because he looked like a calm king she looked like a wicked demon that would not allow him to, he looked like a calm person but her presence there it's not a good thing so he held his wife's hand and they agreed the will of god be done how many of you know that if god gives you and your wife that kind of instruction relatives will kill you even christians I'll say which church first are you going to give the house that man that is already rich you, you people will never stop becoming fools in nigeria because to them giving is helping then they will now tell you we have the poor and the needy in the villages you don't give a poor man to be rich you give a rich man to be rich learn this principle you bless poor men to secure the help of God he says to answer you in the days of trouble but when you want to rise the law of honor you sow to a man that has attained the dimension you desire don't give poor people expecting to be rich all that superstitious thing that they say meet a leper and drop one naira is witchcraft you drop it you will be broke I tell you you sow into an anointing to rise I didn't sow to people less than me to be where I am you so higher the queen of sheba knew that's why she carried gifts and came to solomon do you bless a rich man that's why you are sowing into the anointing the very anointing that god has so you rise up to his realm people do foolish things in the body of christ with no spiritual intelligence and then we are doing zealous things but they don't bring results to us giving is helping so many people say the poor and the needy jesus said the poor you will always have with you you will always have don't be a hypocrite you will always have with you the person who is writing that junk journalism he didn't sell his ipad to give the poor he used an ipad of two hundred thousand to write nonsense about men of god you see that be careful how you hear don't let people make the truth the simplicity of the gospel become just a social discussion a spiritual man is not just a homo sapien a spiritual man hails from above with another life and another economy you have to understand this they obeyed god 
and they gave up the house according to him all hell broke loose everywhere went haywire you know people who insult the woman you mean you cannot advise your husband what a stupid woman the man look at your wife and children and when they went to a rented apartment gave up that i think they sold it and moved the church oh I, I hope i'm getting the story right and then i think he said that god made a vow to him that he will never need to buy a house again in his life never and that man at the time he was speaking i think he was saying he had well over 10 houses none 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 came from his money one not part and then you complete it somebody builds a house furnishes it and say god instructed me now you see people operating at such a realm you don't know what they gave up you give up things to go up oh. you give up things to go up you don't carry luggages to go up spiritually financially leadership you when you see people rising find out what they left behind nobody rises with luggages you must be willing to give up some things to rise in the anointing you must give up some things to rise in ministry you give up some things to rise serving god with your resources there are instructions today i don't like talking about my personal life and the instructions that god has given me but those close to me know my life is like a madman i am a reckless giver if you are close to me and we're sharing accounts you will take me to court because the lawyer will even be tired because you will not know what to say again i don't know how many times i have emptied my accounts at the instruction of the lord to zero zero i'm not talking there is one secret one somewhere sincerely god is my witness as a ministry we have done it there was a year god gave an instruction at the start of the ministry to empty everything i told the finance department oh yeah god said it let it go it was less than one week how many days less than one week almost 10 times that amount came back do you believe this into the kingdom lord this is for your glory there are times and i say this with all humility the finance department will send budget of another department and i tell them don't bother what a joy it's not because this is this is not my ministry this is god's ministry right i only lead this ministry by the privilege of his election but it is god's ministry but what a joy i tell them don't worry don't worry sometimes i see the concern in the treasurer's face and i'm happy i will never pity myself as to remain at my current level no what are you willing to give up to go up god is speaking to somebody what are you willing to give up to exempt you let me tell you there are people seeds i know is a covenant with god darkness will come and loom around them they will come out like smoke before the fire nothing will happen because the investments they have made for the kingdom is like it says is, is like the blood of abel crying there is blood through their sacrifice that is crying to the heavens you try to walk against me you are you are a joker i tell you i say this with all humility you are a joker it's not even me that will fight it's the altar that is full of seeds when you hear people cry and say my altar that thing is not some superstitious thing an altar is a place of sacrifice it's a threshing floor Bishop Oyedeko, I think it was him or somewhere in living faith. A story was being given about, I think it was a woman who was a tither or a giver in the house of God. And armed robbers came. They were knocking. I think they were about to shoot the man or the woman, something like that. And I think, is it the giving booklet or the tithe booklet? The person brought and dropped it on the ground and said the armed robbers should cross it and come and kill them. And they could not do anything. When you engage them, they walk. When you imagine them, they don't walk. When you sit down and wish that they walk, they don't walk. They must be engaged. There are things I have prayed for once that came into my life with speed. There have been times in my life where I cried that God defend me and I prayed once over it. Because God said, no problem. You've got this covered, your seeds. Do you have a sacrifice like Hezekiah in this time of exemption? lord i want a job lord everybody in my family is not making it except me thank god i'm a christian have you forgotten that your elder one is a pastor 
and still his wife has not given birth he's he's winning souls and his wife has not given birth sacrifice sacrifice hannah gave her home before the child came and said god look this is not about me oh. this is about you before the child arrives i've dedicated him and god says that's it i give it to you i know people here who have sacrificed please come Ejimi. let me tell you something about Ejimi. when we were preparing for a crusade the first time among all of us sorry i'm having to say this i know he may not like it he was the only one among us that time that had a computer a desktop right then he used to make shirts the poster of the first crusade he designed it by himself with joy as a sacrifice and then i remember when we that time we needed a lot of money and you know we're trusting god you know people were sowing but it was a need and he did two things now i'm not saying you should do it but he did two things that i will never never forget number one he carried his laptop his his computer i was just passing suleiman and i saw notice and i saw the description of the laptop and i met him i said why with jesus joy he said no that laptop must go we need the money i've told you about our ladies who would climb trees they were members of the worship team they were members of welfare they were members of everything the ladies because there was no money to buy firewood then with joy they would sing we still have the videos that time people like victor and aaron aaron was then please stand up aaron aaron was in charge of protocol this aaron you see victor that you see the head of protocol he was in technical then that time they would carry wood on their head and then dance hey -oh. that was the song they used to sing hey -oh. dancing hey -oh. my season has come i remember hold on 11 years ago 11 years ago pouring their heart to the kingdom are we together see brothers and sisters i remember his mother dear mother of blessed memory one silver watch the most expensive watch then i had ever used remember when his mom went to london and bought it and said they should give me the day god asked me to sew that thing i wanted to die but i still gave it hi god but i gave it i mean it went i'm glad it went I'm glad it went it would have been the only one i still have till now the mother alongside other women in lagos mobilized welfare packages remember and they brought all of that i remember that time aaron we went with two luxurious buses when we were going to for the for the crusade in abuja how they mobilized it i do not even know we're praying and planning bless you and thank you jimmy so don't be surprised when his children are intelligent and happy he served his way to that his children will never beg for bread not when i'm alive even if he decides to be careless with his life it's too late not when i'm alive if he decides today that i will never do anything kingdom again together with his wife i said i i, I agree to, for you to be an extra luggage in my life let's keep going When we are talking about koinonia 10 years from now will your name be mentioned no 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 don't say don't do this not an issue of amen i'm asking you a serious question will you say will you say listen listen will you say this speaker came because my seed was there oh i remember the tie that this gentleman used right people giving their hearts and their lives graduate standing as if they are foolish you think these guys are idiots for just standing like this working some of them have come from their various workplaces and it's evening there are people who come in every week from other states it's a sacrifice see let me tell you the, the moment you find yourself complaining 
about the house of God know that that spirit is there to destroy you because everything God designs in the kingdom is for your good not for his good he's already self-sufficient don't forget El Shaddai he said if you will not praise me it is within my power to raise up stones God don't replace me I'm still available and I'm willing there is such a thing like replacement because now I neither hot or cold I will spew thee from my mouth for as long as I live I will not only praise God my resources must join me and praise God what use do I have having cars when the house of the Lord is not advanced real estate real nonsense the real estate is a kingdom estate traveling on vacation spending a million dollars over a week no except i've done something satisfactorily for the kingdom there is a minimum of amount of offering that i cannot give i will be wicked and unfair to god and to his faithfulness in my life if at this level he has brought me financially i give god certain levels of offering no there is an amount i trust god to get to a target of an amount that i give god never less than it if it is in your heart god will bring it in your hand if at this level i squeeze one thousand i squeeze two thousand give god as an offering i'm a wicked person how much do i eat with how much are my clothes and then the house of god two thousand three thousand me no there are some of you as you are sitting here god has lifted you what you're giving has remained so your giving drew you back because it said your giving told god you were not yet qualified and god said if your giving says remain i can't say you should rise remain i have given dangerous seats in my life I have sown seeds on behalf of my parents for their longevity i have sown seeds on behalf of my children unborn i have sown seeds on behalf of this ministry ask those who know me this ministry is a giving ministry the economic system of koinonia is a crazy system that's why many times i thank god for the way church runs because if it's america i'm sure they would have sued us now say no 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 this and that and that You sow that seed and God gives you faithful people. He may not give you money back, but he will give you one person that will reduce headache. There has not been any case in this ministry that has starved me of sleep to say somebody just came and is stubborn. No. Parents, you can use sacrifice to bail every nonsense out of your children. When a woman gives birth, a man buys a jeep for her which is wonderful right when a child takes first position they fly him to hawaii rather than doing that invest in his future first and say lord this is for my child i buy this speaker for the house of god not nonsense not change not carry torn clothes and say lord i give it in your house you don't give god rubbish no you give god i will not give god anything that will not cost me anything I look forward to times oh god sees my heart when if i hear any church make noise they want something before they say anything is provided and god will open doors for you beyond your imagination if your if your purpose of financial prosperity is just to wear designers and fly private jets is too small a reason for God to rend the heavens and give you a blessing that you will not have room enough. Lord, if you're healing someone in this city, don't do it without me. That's my prayer, Lord. Don't do it without me. Oh, Lord, if you're changing someone in this nation, Please don't do it without me.
don't do it without me oh may 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 it never come to a point in my life when my seed stops advancing the kingdom please tell me what else will i be doing with it servicing sickness servicing poverty as i'm speaking to you you see your greed rising you are trying to believe what i'm saying but your greed is fighting you i wish you would push this thing away no sir god wants to help you i show you the mysteries of blessings that people just rise up god has said it's the year of trial because you are still going to see people rise up in strange ways you will see it's already happening to people you are hearing testimonies of people and you're saying what exactly are they doing that they are rising because in the world system you have they have to show you the boss and the salary slip but this one does the, the boss is invisible the business is by faith but the reward is the only thing you see don't do it without me don't do it without me sacrifice of your life your resources sometimes when i'm going for ministrations i'm so tired sleeping in the car or sleeping in the plane and i'm asking myself why why am i doing this do i have to do this and i just remember it's a privilege i take pleasure in worshiping i take pleasure in worshiping i take pleasure in worshiping you Take my body, my soul, my money, and breathe on me. He has to take everything. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Listen, if you give God your spirit, you give God your brain, and leave your pocket, you are carnal and a liar. Because where your treasure is, that's where your heart is. Are we together my life my finances and every part of me is open for his scrutiny his probing and his instructions any day any time without prior notice belongs to him we're going to pray you want to be exempted there is a price I know many of you just believe i will just tell you be exempted in jesus name brothers and sisters there is a price i won't lie to you i fear god too much to deceive you what is the disadvantage of not being exempted write it down the disadvantage of not being exempted was in the scripture we considered with Cain. he said all who see me will slay me he didn't say all men all things that see me will slay me the disadvantage the major disadvantage of not being exempted is that you become a victim of anything and everything write it down you become a victim of anything and everything although redeemed although potentially speaking you should not be a victim of those things but you become a victim of anything and everything without hope for recovery the bible says these people have been alienated from the life of god through ignorance it says having their understanding darkened they have been alienated from the life of god alienated from the life of god through ignorance listen it's a risk to give birth to a child and not know whether that child will live long or not it's too risk if you've lost a child i i my heart goes out to you don't feel bad but i'm telling you there is a way out please listen to me it's a risk not knowing that you come out today and go back remember there are those who have done it we are not the first to do it remember our song we are surrounded by many they have crossed this river there are men who have lived that long i looked at my father and my mother one time that i went to greet them and i was just smiling 
do you know one thing i know will keep my parents long thanksgiving if there is anything i've learned about my father my father is a man who can thank god in a way that will annoy you he would thank you know how old people thank god they thank god for things you consider to be silly we young people say please if it's the air you breathe is we thank god until the day you breathe through a tube for one month you stay and breathe in and out you will say thank you i've had the opportunity to go to hospitals and to see people i remember the most recent i think it was sometime last year went to see one, went to see one of our ladies and i went there close to her bed i watched somebody die i watched it the process at that point all your greed follows you to the grave all your seeds that have refused to be given like the rich fool the consequences of not using your resources he said this day he sat down and built a barn and put the money and said my soul you have money in gt bank you have money in zenith you have real estate you are a millionaire fine rest and god says thou fool your soul today today will be required of you money does not follow men to the grave hmm. are you hearing what i'm telling you pay attention and leave can you know that your life will be great oh i'm standing today now one shoe one bag one room one stove one pot but i'm sowing my way is there a guarantee that tomorrow this loss will work for me and then i will be the one to be able to turn back and be a blessing ask me i have the answer that's how we rose that's why when people are bragging and saying we are this we are the intellectuals harvard this we went to this some of us know how we came we served our way through the mercy of god and look what god has done today do you know why it is marvelous in our eyes because it is the lord's doing if it's a man's doing is too small to be marvelous in your eyes you are marvelous here. you are marvelous here. you are marvelous here. marvelous, here. You are marvelous here. that's what men will begin to say about your life that you are marvelous yeah. You are marvelous yeah. You are marvelous yeah. Never allow any man despise you You may not have it now but you are walking your way sister you don't need to prove to anybody you can buy nothing the word of god will prove itself continue you may not have what it takes wear your one shoe honorably don't borrow anybody's shoe and tie to prove any point there's too much truckload of proofs coming in the future i know you are a man of god you have only one tie iron it with honor and so so into the kingdom don't buy suits you are not wise if you do that no i want to package myself so that i will look like apostle you are cheating yourself you will look like me soon let me just tell you the truth you will between me and you is a ladder of obedience you will have to climb it diligently and by the grace of god my job is to shorten your journey not take it away that journey is there you will walk it that's why i don't pity people when they cry sometimes it's good to let the tears roll i love you but i cannot stop your journey i can only reduce it so sometimes people cry and say apostle nothing is working and they think i will clean the tears i say no let it flow because to, if it does not flow you will not clean somebody's own it's not wickedness there are times i've seen people in situations i want to bless them and the lord said no don't interrupt what i'm doing in their life they are, I'm, I'm showing them something and i'm saying lord but they know i can help them say no no i'm teaching them trust just like it's happening to someone right now every door of your helpers have closed god is saying it's deliberate oh. don't even try to pray for open doors because i'm the one closing it to teach you i'm teaching you how to rejoice in the storm 
I'll praise you in the storm. Remember, I will lift my hands. You are who you are. No matter where I am, and every tear that falls, you hold in your hands. Listen, let me tell you something. I'm preaching a message to you now. Koinonia, don't be ashamed of your tears. Let it flow. Let everyone see you cry so that when you rejoice, they won't say you cheated. You followed the laws. You cried. Mommy, you may cry, but cry in faith. Cry honorably as you sow the seed. There is he that weepeth, bearing precious seeds. I remember the day the Lord asked me to sow 80% of my clothes. Everything, 80%. 80% percent of everything before then he had asked me to give everything i've shared with you the testimony 2007 in port Harcourt, i carried everything i had home and abroad plus the rechargeable lantern that was all i had laid my hands and prayed on it for three hours dragged it to church then god decided to disgrace me i was in the overflow outside when people were giving god said i should sit down when people were now giving cars and lands when they finished god said you can now go i was moving ladies were looking at me guys were looking at me but i was looking at my future oh yes i was oh yes i was and i went and dropped that thing the bag was not i don't even know what they did with it when they dropped that bag i went back and sat down i did it for his house and the lord spoke to me and said my son from today you have entered wealth men walk by mysteries my mother is one of the happiest people around it's not just because we're alive it's because of the quality of the children she has we're discussing with HB today i bless my parents till the day jesus comes till the day jesus comes without fail whether they obey scriptures or not i am obedience to them the same way the priest they, they receive tithes on behalf of the Levites. I've received it for them. May you do that for your parents. So may your obedience today make your parents live long. So that you will take away this stress that is killing parents young now. You see a parent 70 years they can't walk. Because the son at 40 is still coming. Mommy, please can you borrow me 100,000? I say, how much is my pension? He said, just give me. Are you determined to be exempted? We are going to pray. Sister, take my message seriously. Barrenness is still real. Barrenness does not just come on bad ladies who live wayward lives. There are sincere people. You can start exempting yourself now. Don't wait until the day you get married and try and try and try and nothing happens. Gentleman, don't wait until the day a landlord harasses you. You say, I'll start giving. Start now. Don't wait and say, Apostle, but I've, I've not, I'm not even in a relationship. That's the good time to start sowing that seed. Your seeds can go ahead of your future. Lord, I carry this sacrifice. It's for you. It's for you. Ask Ejimi. He's a witness. What did I do with all my scholarships? Not once. Did I? I was on two scholarships. I was on mobile. I was on total final elf. Then they used to call it. Then there was no GT Bank in Zaria. We we'll go to Kaduna and cash it. Ask him. He's a witness. Everything went for the kingdom. Other people were buying laptop. They were buying this. I used my scholarship for the kingdom. Behind every story, every glory, there is a story. Don't just sit down desiring men's results. This is what this covetousness in the body of Christ. Oh God, I like a Jimmy's watch. I like this. I like Pastor Alpha's shoe. Stop those things. That that's not how to claim. You claim through obedience. Obedience. We are really going to pray seriously because I want you to be exempted. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. The danger that looms around. There is real danger. Psalm 91 tells us. There is danger on your children. Born or unborn. From the womb now children get mysteriously sick. 
father does not have that sickness mother does not have that sickness from that period of conception to delivery the child comes out with one kind of nonsense i remember one of our ladies who gave birth to one baby he later died you know i remember them meeting me they gave it to the baby the baby was an imbecile you know nothing neck will not move hand will not move nothing and i remember the pain the mother used to go through i went back to god and i said lord what happened what happened and then i told them i said look sacrifice is the last bus stop in this kingdom when all else fail you sacrifice is a master key it will tear that heaven open I show you a mystery there are times I've come to certain places that I know some doors will not open I prayed they didn't open I fasted they didn't open and I reached out through intelligence I took seeds that shook heaven and I swung those doors open and Solomon loved the Lord and Solomon said gather me 1,000 animals they said sir are you dashing people he said don't ask me any question bring knife slaughter them number one number two he says spill the blood there was a field god kept watching he said let's watch how far he will go when he got to 500 he didn't stop god said my god what is this who is this man who gave him this kind of heart to sacrifice immediately god came to him and said solomon you called me sacrifice has a voice it can call god I'm telling you a mystery some of you are in situations right now your education cannot bring you out it will not bring you out you are in a situation where you are about to break through something the pastor in your family with all his anointing did not was not exempted from that trouble bad luck people rise to certain levels the moment they reach there they crash you are number seven out of 13 people nobody's walking and you say i got first class you better switch there is a mystery of exemption everybody that married in your family the lifespan of the marriage was four years they prayed in tongues the marriage is scattered because there is a spirit covenanted authoritatively it takes sacrifice i have done this for myself i have done this for koinonia hi brothers and sisters you are sitting on blood you are not just sitting on chairs you are sitting on tears you are sitting on sacrifices that brought you that's what brought you here it's not joshua selman's revelation sacrifice many people cannot do this thing it's hard that's why very few are exempted i never told you it will be easy i won't lie to you there is he that weepeth there are things this man has done there are sacrifices i remember one time i'm sorry i'm having to say it. he carried a seed together with his wife and i knew this was a serious sin there are people here who have done it sacrifices unto death a kind of sacrifice that when you finish you say god i hope this thing is right i hope it works i told you about my mother my mother almost brought tears out of my eyes i think it was towards the end of last year she said her death will my mother said if she dies any benefit that will come they should transfer it to koinonia a woman alive covenanting her will for god where is the devil that will kill her that's the realm when you say for for me to live is christ and to die is king listen we rise in this kingdom through sacrifice we exempt ourselves through sacrifice strange sacrifice i have watched it open doors for me i have watched it open doors for people great men that you see in this nation the secret is not just the sacrifice of prayer their seeds have gone if i tell you i don't practice this i you, I, you it, those close to me know i am a bank of walking seeds nothing just stays idle i send it to my future i send it fast i may cry sending it hallelujah 
I was talking to a Jimmy and I was telling him I said I have so much in the charge card in my phone I don't know what to do he asked me how much I said 41,000 what will I do with a charge card my phone loaded with 41,000 one naira is not from me one naira is not from me what will I do with it you are not ready for blessings till your seed speaks oh you mean you are enjoying no no when blood touches the earth heaven must answer who said your family will never be rich there is this cause of poverty and you have been giving you just give 10 10,000 give 10 naira. you are not ready to move oh let me tell you the truth there is a day you come and say lord my children i served idols my father served idols it was in idolatry i gave my life to christ i've not even stabilized my stand i know these altars are fighting me therefore i lift up a fortification gather unto me my saints psalm 50 verse 5 please give it to us they that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice a covenant with me by sacrifice listen you are at a phase in your life where you should not pity money listen listen to me wasteful spending is bad but fearful spending is demonic you don't spend your money buying shoe spend your money breaking altars spend your money breaking covenant leave all those shoes don't be foolish they will come prove any point to anybody lord i have watched my elder brother rubbish i watched my elder sister she got married and got mad this first day this will not happen oh i know it will not happen because i'm in koinonia if you don't do what koinonia people are doing you'll be surprised i'm showing you the secrets brothers and sisters let me tell you they will sit with you like this and tell you they are coming to jail you coming to take you to prison coming to take you to this you cannot pay your rent your sacrifice that's when you see that sacrifice is powerful there is a lady i don't know if she testified i have the text message in my phone i shared it with you jimmy two days ago her mother practically died and the girl said no 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 way and she caught i think she may be a worker or so she sent a text i told her to come and share it by herself i don't know if she was a worker or whatever and do you know this lady said she said kai i can't use my faith again everything went bad and she sent me a text you know what she sent she said apostle i can't use faith i use the covenant you have with god do you know what i did i put the text i told you Jimmy, what i did i put the text and i threw it on my bed i said lord look at what this lady said her mother came back to life yesterday yesterday the text is still in my phone take over take over lord i've come into the end The end of greed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have come. Listen. Listen. Till today, they serve idols in my village. Till today, they serve idols in my village. With the reign of Christianity, you are not the first to have causes. I told you demons used to oppress me. As a man of God, anointed healing the sick i went to pastors i said what is this thing that demons come to press me in the night they said i don't have faith i said what is faith i've done everything they define faith to be brothers and sisters there are certain altars that after you have prayed i wish what i'm telling you is a lie i know you are in christ but i show you the mysteries behind the pain of men there are some seeds alone that will break some altars and smash it to pieces and in one year one year when it was time to save man jesus christ god did not make a pronouncement 
he dragged his son when the son went to Golgotha when his blood breathed that's why no power the only power that can overcome God is the power that can give a son with that same condition any other deity that can turn a God to become a son and sacrifice him will have more power than God he looked around the heavens and found no one greater and he swore by himself the seed shall bruise the head the seed please look at me look at me if I have preached and I have told you a lie may a curse come upon me and my children that are unborn if I have manipulated you for any gain listen I don't care who you are how old you are what you read if you want to rise above witchcraft in this life you want to rise and match the head of the devil it's not just your prayer and your voice there is he that weepeth you don't just drop money like that the sacrifice is not in the money is the value on you and tie it with an expectation lord they say my womb will not open you have seen three of your sisters barring you are there jumping up and down and saying i am they are, they are not barring because they are devils they just do not understand the mystery of exemption hallelujah i told the lord something i said lord let my life be a sign and a wonder a testament of what you can do with a man that loves you much more than celebrating a man like you did it is it is the celebration of god and the possibilities that he can birth on earth that my life will not limit god no way i like the things men say cannot be done if it is god that says it cannot be done i will not even try it because it's a waste of time but if it's man that says it cannot be done i say god what do you say when Jesus came he said you say this in your law but this is what I say you say this in your law but this is what I say like he's speaking to someone they said this in your family but this is what I say he can veto anything and turn a man's life around hallelujah someone gave me a very humorous testimony I think it was yesterday they had been trying to pursue something that has to do with the dad and um, uh, you know I think the dad is, is, is in the force or something and they are just deprived that man for five years I think if I'm if I'm not mistaken no salary no benefits because some ammunitions were missing and they traced to to him imagine a breadwinner of a family for about five years things went down and you know if, if he wins the case they will have to restore everything plus damages are we together and they kept manipulating manipulating and i think just yesterday i was told that was it yesterday or i think this week the verdict came out and came out in the father's favor i said you should start dancing in your household because whether the devil likes it or not everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you things never get missing they only leave you they are still on earth everything that leaves a man does not go out of the earth realm it is only within a distance that is beyond your reach there is a force from heaven that sustains an ability to call the things that be not and draw them there is a force of attraction i prophesied as i was commanded it says and the bones they were all there just because you cannot see them does not mean they are not there everything you are looking for is looking for you too and there is a force that can connect you to them 
please listen i'm not just motivating you the things that we have heard the things we have seen the things that our hands have handled that who is he that saith the thing and it comes to pass that god did not vet it and approve it let god be true and let every man including your situation be a liar listen to me please hear me a miracle service is not just the time to pray for the sick not everybody is sick you see the level of high blood pressure disturbing young people now you see people talking like fools on the road someone in early 20s talking to himself moving around this our road from here to abuja almost every day someone is dying nobody leaves his house to die worry pastors collapse on stage i've told you that there is a technology that sends israel to egypt it's called hunger every time there is hunger israel must go to egypt to find bread genesis 42 please give it to us let's just read it I apologize the projection is not very clear but just see that scripture now everyone read if you can see it we're reading one and two ready read now when jacob saw that there was what corn where in egypt jacob said unto his sons why do ye look upon one another verse two and he said behold i have heard that there is corn in egypt Get you down thither and buy for us from thence that we may live and not die. This is a prophet. But lack of corn was making him mortgage his children. Go to Egypt. I'm a prophet but we're about to die. And I hear that wherever there is corn, that's where people go to. Look, let's not lie to ourselves. Wherever there is corn, that is where people go to including a prophet he had because the bible says the increase of the earth is for all and that even the king is fed from it when there is corn in egypt believers will have to go down there we need time to serve the lord we need time to bet the revival that he wants to bring we need time to pursue the purposes of the kingdom but that time cannot be given to you when you spend your life looking for corn in egypt it's a cost to go down to Egypt. But if that is the only place that has corn, then you will have to go down to eat. And then there arose another Pharaoh that knew not Joseph. And the people of God got into servitude and slavery. Don't mind the ignorant people who say it doesn't matter. You just serve God like that. According as his divine power hath given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness everyone say after me life, life. godliness life, life godliness there are things that pertain unto godliness your character your work with god your prayer life your spiritual development those are things that pertain unto godliness but there are things that pertain unto life your children's school fees your accommodation the well-being that any man who is unable to cater for his family according to scripture has denied the faith and is worse than an infidel so when the devil wants to discourage you as a man of god you're preparing a sermon and here comes your son with a pta letter and your eyes the letter is usually typed except where the money will be they write it with biro and the price is doubled you stand there wanting to kill your son. Why has the school fees been doubled? And the child said, they just gave me to give you. And you look at it. Your salary is not increased. Nothing else is increased. But the bills are rising. The devil wants to send you to Egypt. A time will come what, what you would not do yesterday, you will now do tomorrow on the strength of the pain. Hunger can take men to Egypt. hallelujah a dear man of god called me i think uh, two weeks or so i don't know him so much and from one of these nations and he called me and was lamenting he said apostle pray for me our ministry is under serious financial attack 
he said right now honestly the way things are we may not even be able to hold our service because the bills you know things are going down economically and the givings of the people also seem to have followed and you know i got angry in my spirit i said this is the kind of news satan wants because you see very soon the devil will bring one rich man who will pocket that ministry because of one million or one five or ten million or whatever it is that he gives you will lose your voice lose your relevance lose your integrity on the platter of hunger was it not hunger that made Esau to sell his birthright? Only an irresponsible ministry will not address the issue of hunger that is going on. There are many things to address, but hunger should be one of them. Believers are hungry. They need a technology that is higher than what has been proposed. Let me tell you, there is a part which no fowl knoweth. The webs of the lion has not gotten there. There are dimensions reserved for these times when God will bring out as a display of his intelligence. Do you not know that the strategy of saving 20% was God's intelligence? It's not just an economic strategy. There is always a reservoir in God's intelligence. For times when people cry, when the saints cry, God will say, show them that the wisdom of God is inexhaustible. Health care is one of the devourers in our world today. Do you know how much it takes to treat people? Once your son is sick, you are crying already because you know. How much does it take? We have so many doctors here. One of our doctors came and I asked him to check a woman. And when he brought the list for the x-ray, I said, I will buy that machine. No. I said, I said, I, 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 and open an x-ray, an x-ray place. I mean, how much? Not the whole body. I don't know what part of the body it was. But when I saw the bills, I said for x-ray. And almost every day, someone has to go there. If you are collecting 50,000 naira and you use 30,000 for x-ray, there is no reason why that child will give you joy. Are we together? Anything that child does will annoy you. And then help that child. Let him not take first or second or third. You will almost kill the child. There are real issues that we cannot laugh at. Real issues. And this night, God is determined to rise up and not only step in, but turn things around. John chapter 10 and verse 10. Thank you. John chapter 10 and verse 10, please. It says, the thief cometh not. There is a name Satan is called. And here he is called the thief. Are we together? If someone knocks your gate and you say who is that he said the thief you don't need to ask him what tribe what gender you will call the police immediately and say there is a thief there is an armed robber in front of my house and Jesus is speaking here and he says the thief cometh not that means you will never see him around but for to steal and to kill and to destroy so everywhere you see stealing killing and destruction is his signature the thief satan he comes into a joyful family are we together happy husband come my dear happy wife when the thief comes in between them he must scatter everything one flimsy excuse or the other he will come in between business partners and shred them when satan passes a place you know this is him he will leave his signature stealing killing destruction we would be in trouble if jesus stopped there but he says i am come mm. he didn't say i have come i am has come to bring life and that you have that life more abundantly lavishly i am come that you may have life I am come that he may have solutions. I have come to show you that there is a way out of this. I am come to show you that there are possibilities. Are we together now? Now the last thing I want to say before we begin to pray. I will continue to teach this because repetition is the key to persuasion. The Bible says according as his divine power. Please give it to us. That second, first. Um, 
Second Peter chapter 1 from verse 2 please grace and peace verse 2 be multiplied unto you at, through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord verse 3 it says according as his divine power hath given us so what gives us in this kingdom his divine power never forget this it is not faith faith is a channel that allows his divine power to pass the agency the force that is responsible for connecting us with spiritual possibilities is his divine power for many years there has been an argument about the workings of faith and the anointing there is no argument there are we together faith is the pipe that the power of god flows to to carry supernatural solutions to you if there is no faith there is no channel of the power from the throne room to your situation it will not be possible you don't choose faith or the power of God. That's not a theology taught in the Bible. He never taught any of them in isolation. His divine power. Every request on your list will be solved by his divine power. Now let me teach you this. I've taught you again. What is on you is what controls the results around you. Please never forget this. The results around you do not fabricate themselves. The results around you are mirrors. They are a reflection of the kind, the level, the dimension of the grace that is upon you. So I can know the grace on you by looking at the possibilities in your life. I can know what grace has come upon you by looking at what changes. It is impossible to increase in grace and your possibilities remain the same. No. The testimonies that recycle around your life are an attest. They, are, they attest to the fact that this is the level and the extent of grace. Hear me. Every door can open. It just depends on the grace asking it to open. Everybody is a giver. It depends on the grace that asks them to give. Someone can refuse to bless you and yet carry a millionaire and meet someone else and say give me the privilege of blessing you nobody's really stingy the problem is that these possibilities don't happen in the earth dimension they are realities that are finished in the realm of the heavens and only executed the earth is a realm of execution the same way your body is The anointing and the grace on your life is what controls the possibilities around you. Please listen to me. His divine power. There are doors that have refused to open. The doors are not stubborn. The doors are only obedient to the last instruction. And since the anointing speaking to it is not that high, the door will remain obedient to the last instruction. The day a higher authority speaks, that door will open, I assure you. Please don't generalize challenges. Challenges are only relative to the grace that confronts them. This is a message of hope for you to hear. Challenges are only relative to the grace that confronts them. Even the king could not solve the hunger problem of Samaria. Here comes the prophet. He did not come to solve the problem. He said, ah, okay, I see that there is a situation. Everyone was hungry except the king and the prophet. He said, by this time tomorrow. Then a foolish man said, even if God will open the window of heaven, how will these things be? And he says, you will see it, but you will not partake of it. I believe in the power of God. I've seen what the power of God can do. Stop wasting your time trying to change things physically. Creation has never been disobedient. Creation is the most obedient entity you can find. The money you are looking for is not disobedient. There is an unction that calls it. If it's not there, it is authorized to leave you. Creation is obedient. When Noah was ready to open the ark, when he opened the ark, there was a grace that came on every animal by themselves. The Bible never said Noah went to the wilderness to chase them animals with no higher intelligence they found their way to the ark if animals can find their way to the ark 
Why should your destiny helper find it difficult to find you? Why should breakthrough find it difficult to... Noah just stood there and allowed the grace to walk. You rest only when the grace walks. Let me tell you, life is hard when you are walking on your own. In this kingdom, we don't walk with our hands. Our hands only help us to receive the grace. When it comes, you enter your Sabbath. Are you getting what I'm saying now? The power of God is the spiritual mechanism responsible. The signs and wonders that will happen in this place right now, the healings and the miracles and the breakthroughs, they will happen according as his divine power. Acts chapter 10 and verse 38, it says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. The information is not that he was anointed. Look at the extent to which he was anointed. With the Holy Ghost and with power, he says he went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. There are people inside, there are people outside, there are people standing in such sacrifice waiting for God. It will be very wicked to share the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and tell everybody bye-bye. Return back with your challenge. No, I want you to believe God tonight and insist Lord, whatever will come upon me must come upon me. Whatever must change must change. Whatever must grow must grow. Whatever must die must die. When there is no expectation, it becomes wrong for God to visit you. Because one of the things that he gave men, seven benefits given to man at creation, one of it is the right to choose. The will that God gave man is a fundamental right. It's not for Christians. Once you are a man, you were given the right to choose. Salvation, even at the detriment of your going to hell, was left for your choice. God will never, never, never violate your right to choose. I said before you life and death. I said before you blessing and cursing. I can only advise you, choose life. I said before you prosperity and poverty. I said before you success and failure. I said before you spiritual growth. And, and a low level of spirituality is up to you to choose. I choose life oh, and everything that comes with it. I choose speed. I choose increase. I choose honor. I choose dignity. I choose open doors. I choose open heavens. It's a choice. And if you're a family man here, as for you and your house, you can't choose for the whole world, but you can choose for your house. That the favor of God can rest upon your life tonight. And that within the next one month, things will shift in your life in a way and a manner that will surprise you. If you do not believe these things exist, you are not a Christian. A Christian is not just one who is born again. A Christian is one who has submitted to the ideologies of the kingdom as the ultimate value system of your life. Hallelujah. I'd like you to believe God. Don't say I've come for miracle service before. You see, let me tell you the truth. My assignment as a man of God is not to invite you. My assignment as a man of God is to continue to grow in grace. So that the things that would not answer to me in January must answer in June. Otherwise, what is the superiority of growth? If the same thing that did not answer to me three months ago refuses to answer now i'm only maintaining my spiritual level i'm not growing there was a time when some spirits did not answer to the apostles they went to jesus asking a question and they said why couldn't we do this he said this kind there is a technology for taking this one out see let me tell you sincerely there is enough grace to wipe the tears in your eyes there is enough grace to turn the tables around. The anointing works like money. I've taught you. It can only solve the problems that are lower than it. The anointing does not generically solve every problem. No. No. You have to understand this. It's very important to know. I have, let me just still 5-10 minutes to explain this. Look at this. This is 1,000 Naira. Look at this. 
and if I give you this 1,000 Naira, it can buy a bottle of water. Is that true? It can even buy you lunch or dinner, depending on where you eat. But this cannot buy you a car. This cannot pay a child's school fees, but it is still money. So if you want to pay a child's school fees, you need more of the same thing to the level that meets the demand. Every challenge in life has a level of grace attached to it. Not every grace solves every problem. If every grace solves every problem, then it doesn't make sense to grow in grace. Acts chapter 2, they were filled with the Holy Ghost. Acts chapter 4, they were filled with the Holy Ghost again. To what end? It says that you stretch forth your hands and that miracles, signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your Holy Son. There was a dimension of grace requiring a higher level of the anointing. Gehazi carried his rod, the rod of Elisha. And he came and laid it on the dead body. The body did not rise. But when the prophet came, that dead body came back to life. Every challenge is relative to the grace that confronts it. I know men of God have prayed for you. They are not fake just because you did not get the result. It is a reflection of the extent and the level of grace. And God grants the privilege of grace. And that's why as men of God, we must continue to grow in grace. So that what we could not solve yesterday, we can now solve tomorrow. That is the proof of grace. Are we together now? We are going to pray tonight. It's going to be a very quick walk in this place. I trust God and I believe that in the name of the Lord, that things will so change in your life, it will surprise you. Please rise up on your feet. Lift your voice and begin to mention specifics. Unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Rise up on your feet and please pray. Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh yeah oh yeah yeah say oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Turn my life around. Turn my life around tonight. Turn my ministry around. Turn my family around. Is someone praying? Turn things around. Shalabarata <laughs> Katos. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to be very fast. I minister by the Spirit. And the goal is for God to solve people's problems and deal with all the issues that are not of God. Praise the Lord. It will be very, very fast. I'm not sure I may have the time to prophesy tonight because I want us to finish very fast. Our time is gone. But let your heart be open. There is a God in heaven. Please don't be used to your situation. If you're a visitor here and you came, come insisting that I did not leave where I left to be here only to return back with stories. Uh-uh. That is not the God that we serve. Are we together? Hallelujah. There are three people. The power of God is coming on outside. Overflow one. Please, I'd like you to bring them out here. Please, let's start very quickly. We're going to pray. Three people. The power of God is coming upon them right now. three people the power of God is coming upon them right now 
a very strong anointing please bring them very quickly and then and then we'll pray and then we'll pray when you have them please bring them very quickly the Lord is already moving listen let me tell you the truth I want you to believe believe that God will step in and turn your life around hallelujah turn your life around from the back right to the center I'm seeing the power of God come on someone now from the back right to the center from the back right to the center please bring them out right now now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty there is liberty an end comes to every oppression an end comes to every oppression an end comes to every oppression an angel of the Lord is still standing here I'm still seeing this road right now it's like smoke just moving across right now from the top to the back please bring them out an end comes God is stepping in to locate people by his spirit remember the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and it says where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty I command every oppression of darkness I want to pray now I see fire in this place this is what I'm saying by the spirit of the and listen at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus that every spirit that is other than the spirit of the Christ responsible for any challenge and any predicament it must let you go now inside and outside online are you ready father let there be deliverance right now one two three shout jesus jesus i cause every power bring them out right now every oppression of darkness it must go now it must go now oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Yahweh, Yahweh. Oh yeah, yeah, say. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Please bring them out quickly. I'm still praying. The Lord is showing me a vision of a padlock in the spirit. I'm seeing a padlock and I'm seeing what looks like a key about to open it at the count of three again you're going to shout that name I see opening opening doors that have been closed are you ready now one two three be open now every closed door be open now be open now be open now Close doors over families. Close doors over ministries. Close doors over destinies. I decree and declare, be open. Be open now. Bring them out, please. Be open now. Be open now. In the name of Jesus. Overflow one, two, three across the road online be free now hallelujah i'm seeing i'm seeing like stones in a vision one two three four five and i'm seeing like a strange fire these are representations of altars. Listen, there are families that have been covenanted to all kinds of ordinances. Fire is about to come from heaven right now. In the name of Jesus, you are ready to shout now. Father, every family here that is under any kind of ordinance, 
I come tonight with the rod of a higher priesthood. At the count of three, let fire from heaven liberate that family right now. One, two, three. Be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, we blot out handwritings. We blot out handwritings. Bring them out. I cause altars, yokes of darkness, ordinances, speaking against the people of God. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yahweh. Hey. Oh, yeah, yeah. Say. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yahweh. Oh yeah, yeah. Say. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yahweh. 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 Hallelujah. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing the hand of God go to the eastern states the eastern states right now God is bringing deliverance the east Abia Anambra state Enugu state Epoi state I'm seeing an anointing right now rest on people within that state let there be liberty right now let there be liberty right now you belong to that state the power of God is coming upon you right now right now even the lawful captives shall be delivered it's a sign and a wonder how God does it I'm seeing the map the east God is bringing liberty hallelujah the Lord is showing me the map again I'm seeing an arrow and I'm seeing it go to Benway Benway state Right now, I stretch my hands. Benway, Benway, that anointing, you are from that state. Any ordinance tying your destiny must let you go right now. Must let you go right now. This is by the authority of the kingdom. Benway state. Benway state. Liberation right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. release their destinies right now in the name of Jesus hallelujah I'm seeing fire just within this circumference in front there are two families God wants to set free right now within this circumference I'm seeing fire coming upon them right now bring them out right now by the spirit of grace in the name of Jesus the son of the living God things must change in your life my friend this young man lift your hands where you are there is oil being poured on your head right now right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is removing something that looks like an arrow from your head. Let it go right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let him go now. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Fire is still falling here. I'm seeing this deliverance is especially for women. An entity comes to molest you in the night. You go to bed and a strange spirit just comes. Right now in the name of Jesus, the Lord is asking me to just count two. And at the count of two, that fire is coming on people right now. One, two, let that fire come now. Liberation from ordinances of darkness every stranger that comes to manipulate your destiny be free now
all those in front here, I decree the power that holds you. I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. At the count of three, let them go now. One, two, three, go. Leave them now. Release their destinies right now. Let there be restoration. Everything that has been stolen from hell, I command the restoration by the spirit of the living God, by the spirit of grace. The Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Be free right now. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Everything that must live your life, insist it must live your life now. The angel of the Lord is removing arrows. I'm seeing arrows, arrows coming out of people. That's what I'm seeing. Arrows, 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 arrows right now, right here. Arrows, arrows, go now. Arrows are being removed out of people. In the name of Jesus, Madam, be free right now. Be set free now. The Lord is setting someone free here right now. Someone in this room, I'm seeing fire just resting on someone. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, everything that has held you bound, be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now in the name of Jesus. Be free right now. Be free right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Those outside keep praying. Something is resting upon you right now. The Lord asked me to come to overflow one. I want to pray for you. There is an anointing right now. I stretch my hands fire from the front to the back everyone under any kind of yoke right now as i'm passing be free be free help them please out now release their destinies release their destinies now please help them whether you are an usher or not help them that yoke must let you go now that yoke must let you go now i'm passing this road right now once I pass you, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is taking everything that is not of God. Release them now. Release their destinies now. Release their destinies now. Let that fire rest upon you right now. Everything that has refused to open, be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Close doors. Be open now. Be open now. Now listen, overflow too. I may not touch you, but in the name of Jesus, I pass your robe. Except God is not God. If there is anything sitting on your destiny, it must let you go. Right now, be free. Be free. I bring you the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Be free now. Open up your gates. Your gates. Gates be open. Destiny be open now. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open now in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. Fire is resting on this road. Just right there. I'm seeing someone, the oppression of your family is coming to an end right now. I stand by this grace. Karis Kobaru Katosh, help her please. Anyone here? anything that is not of God sitting on your destiny right now at the count of three all of you just I'm seeing fire right now and I'm seeing chains broken from people's legs right now be be set free now be set free now be set free now be set free now there is a lady here God is saying it is over right now I'm seeing an anointing liberating a lady's family right now help them please whether you are an usher or not, please, if anybody is falling close to you so they don't injure themselves. Hallelujah. Please shift. That lady, be free now. I'm pointing my hands to her. 
I command that devil to leave your family and your destiny now in the name of Jesus Christ begin to pray begin to pray overflow three pray pray overflow three something is about to release your destiny now something is about to release your destiny now Something is about to release your destiny now. Overflow three, I came with an anointing. At the count of three, shout Jesus. Fire is falling from the top to the bottom. One, two, three. Go, go, go now. Every yoke, every altar, be free now. Bring them out. Whether you are an usher or not, bring them out. Every oppression of darkness, right to the back. I declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit be free now be free now bring them out I'm seeing all kinds of spirits I command every spirit that is not of the Christ release God's people right now at the count of three i'm seeing fire resting on people and i'm seeing a number 41 41 people at the count of three shout jesus are you ready one two three shout jesus right now be free by the fire of the holy ghost be free right now every door that has refused to open i open that door right now in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah. There are 27 people here. The grace for speed is coming upon them. I don't know who you are, but right now, the grace for speed, I stand by the anointing from the front to the back. Right now, in the name of Jesus, receive that anointing right now speed i release speed over your life over your destiny receive speed in the name of jesus speed in the name of Je hallelujah overflow three hear me there are people here the lord is telling me no one rises in your family when they get to a level something brings them bow and the lord is saying i should shift you by prophecy i stand right now i don't know where they are but the anointing of the Holy Ghost is going to come upon you. Right now in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing the number 17. Lord, I don't know where they are here. But in the name of Jesus, I declare, move to the next level right now. I shift you to the next level right now. I shift you to the next level right now. Hallelujah. I'm looking at 14 people here. You have the call of God upon your life. And right now, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is going to locate you. 14 people. Lord, where are they? I stretch my hands right now. Apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, Deborahs. Lord, where are they? Let that man to locate you now. The call of destiny that is upon you, O oh, prophet of God, may that fire find you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There are 15 people here, overflow three. The spirit of revelation is coming on you. Unusual insight. I don't know where they are but right now i'm seeing light not fire light light coming on people 15 people step into a new dimension of the revelatory grace right now in the name of jesus Yahweh. Yahweh. hallelujah praise the lord 
Men auditorium, please lift your hands. Men auditorium, lift your hands. I'm seeing seven people. Men auditorium, lift your hands. I'm seeing seven people. The grace for speed. I will pray it on everybody. But the main auditorium, there is a grace for unusual speed on seven people. They will begin to run by the anointing right now. Please hold them so they don't injure themselves. Main auditorium, I stretch my hands. At the count of three like Elijah, may that grace come. One, two, three. Receive that grace right now. In the main auditorium, step into the anointing for speed. In the name of Jesus. Overflow 3, lift your hands. Every door that has refused to open over your ministry, over your life, held down by witchcraft, in the name that is above all names, at the count of three, I'm seeing doors open in the spirit. One, two, three, let that door be open now. Be open now. Be open now. The Lord wants to avert death over a family. This year alone, between last year and this year, four people have died in your family. Four people have died. And in the name of Jesus Christ, an anointing is coming upon you right now. Let death be averted now in the name of Jesus. Now listen, all of you at Overflow 3, and the extension there whatever must live your life as i'm passing this place please i am releasing my faith open your mouth now and declare lord it must live my life now go ahead go ahead pray please all those in front here the spirit that ties your destiny i command at the count of three let them go now one two three go 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 out of their lives out of their destinies make sure you are praying make sure you are praying the power of God is resting on someone here there's an anointing coming on someone right here in the name of Jesus there's an anointing coming on someone here and the Lord is saying it comes to an end that family crisis comes to an end. The power of God is resting on someone by my left here. Right now, receive that anointing. Let it go in Jesus' name. Be free right now in Jesus' name. The power of God is resting on someone here. Right here, I'm seeing an anointing. Right now. It's a prophetic grace. There's someone here, a prophetic grace is coming upon you. Right now, by my left here. In the name of Jesus, drink of that anointing. Drink of that fountain. May that grace rest upon your life. Right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Lord says it is over. Over right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Look at me my friend. The Lord is taking you to a height and a dimension in the spirit. I lay my hands on you. Drink of that grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm seeing what looks like smoke, just this region, where, I'm, where you are looking at me. Right now, there are four people. I'm seeing the power of God, like a wind, just coming on them, just this road. Right now, Lord, where are they? I stretch my hands right now. Right now, the power of the Holy Ghost is coming on those people, and the Lord is saying it is over. He's taking away captivity, four of you, by the Spirit of grace. Let it be over right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus there is a family here marriage does not happen in that family but I'm seeing fire rest right now the embargo is being broken now the embargo is being broken whoever those people are an anointing is coming on you now for the sake of your family that yoke of marital delay is breaking right now is breaking right now in the name of Jesus Please lift your voice and pray. Everybody, pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. There is one of you among those standing here. 
there is a call of God upon your life an anointing is coming upon you you will be mightily used by God where is that person spirit of the living God the hand of God just near the gate here the power of God is coming upon that person right now a new dimension in the spirit the eyes that see and the ears that hear may you step into that level in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ my friend touch this gentleman for me lift your hands I stretch my hands over you I command I'm seeing chains all over your body I command those chains to give way now in the name of Jesus release him now let him go now by the power of the Holy Ghost I cut those chains I'm seeing chains from your head to your toe let me pray for those here please all of I hear I'm the Lord is opening my eyes and from here to the fence I'm seeing snakes and I'm seeing five people there is a major deliverance that is coming for a family right now in the name of Jesus may the anointing of the Holy Spirit locate those ones now five of you right now these spirits my God my God I'm seeing something living right now release them now release no matter how long release them now it is written that even the lawful captives shall be delivered I declare emancipation now by the Spirit of the Living God. Come. Where are you coming from? Huh? You are a gala. I want to pray for you. Are you alone? If you came here alone, what do you do? I want to pray for you. The Spirit of death is upon you. And the Lord is saying I should pray for you. So that those dreams you used to have, seeing dead people is that true you have dreams and Too much, yes. the lord is saying that you are going to be free from it right now i declare in the name of jesus by the power of the hope in the there is there is someone here at academic delay over your family is breaking right now i just please don't be carried away acting this thing i Passionately to help people experience God. I'm praying. I don't know where that family is, but now scattered in this congregation, I stretch my hands. Let the anointing of the Holy Spirit family right now. I'm seeing a family here. None of you has a job. None of you. There are even a few graduates, but nobody at all. It's like the doors of jobs don't open. Right now, you're going to sense fire come up your hands. Real physical fire. And the Lord is saying, by that, help them. By that, that embargo is broken. Lord, I, I declare right now, let the anointing of the Holy Spirit rest upon those people and bring emancipation. Everyone lift your voice and begin to pray in the Spirit. Please begin to pray in the Spirit. Don't say you are not inside. God can locate you from any direction. God can locate you from any direction. Bring me this lady, please. In the name of Jesus Christ, delay ends in your life. I stretch my hands and I pray, delay help her. The Lord is taking away witchcraft from this family. I command that devil, go now. See, it doesn't matter whether you are inside or outside, just release your faith. In the name of Jesus, be free right now. Be free right now. My friend, the call of God is upon your life. There is, that is coming upon you, it's a healing anointing. I stretch my hands may that grace begin to work effectually now step into that grace in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now listen among all of you from here to here the grace for speed is coming on two people listen those two people will start running now please hold them hold them so they don't enjoy themselves that anointing right now all across two you can control yourself hold them please whether you are an usher, I release that grace. Speed. Two people. Strange speed. God is ending delay right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing two of you. A prophetic anointing. You are not prophets. But you have been desiring this grace. The grace to see. From here. Right to where that lady with the veil is. I don't know where they are but I stretch my hands. May that anointing find you right now. Accuracy of sight. and Help them, help them please. Help them please. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ an angel of the Lord is taking away reproach there is a family here the Lord is saying the captivity ends now an anointing is coming upon you right now it's now in the name of Jesus someone here is it your sister has been trusting God for the fruit of the womb who is that listen where where is she at home what of you come how long who has had three miscarriages three miscarriages go and tell her she will have a baby girl that the Lord is giving her a baby girl in the name of Jesus I pray for you both in the name of Jesus let it come to an end right now let that captivity come to an end in the name of Jesus there's someone here your family has a court court case who is that please court case don't make sure you don't tell us please they want to kill you because of what what did you do what did you do hold on I have to where are you from where is that I have to pray for you you have bad friends hold on let me talk to you eh? you have very bad friends bad friends you need to be delivered this is not even your whole life eh? you know what I'm saying right you need to repent eh? listen when I make an altar call run and come because the real salvation is you it's not the issue of court case of this you you have friends that are criminals and we have to pray you hear what I'm saying God is locating you to help you listen let me tell you my dear people I mean when God locates us like this is because he wants to help hey, there's somebody here your name is Sarah where is that person Sarah hold on please don't don't let me just prophesy I, I my heart is full God wants to visit people stand up who is Sarah where are you from huh where are you from no no we're state of origin I want to pray for you who is Godia yeah Godia the Lord wants to visit you right now acting God truly wants to change your life yeah? I want to pray for you whose mother is in the hospital I'm seeing someone's mother lying down in the hospital here your mom come I'm seeing that down in Portacot but uh, yes I Portacot you came from Portacot go on I'm going to pray for do I know you I've never seen you I want to pray for you God is turning your situation up is as you are standing let your heart be open your people may be far don't ever think I'm just because I come outside like this to encourage you to let you know that you must not make it inside anywhere are we together the power of God is going to come upon you a loud shout that will be the person I'll prophesy to right now in just those outside here it's not something you can stand this is a sign and a wonder from the spirit of God that's not the shout the shout is coming it's a loud shout please bring the person when that happens that's the shout bring the person in the name of Jesus Christ my friend lift your hands Jesus come do you what are you doing what do you do of God your own church you are assisting someone you came here not just to receive a miracle for your mother but you came to take fire stand up why you came listen to me you are going to go back and you will step into a dimension signs and wonders that will surprise you 
Sarah in the name that is above all names every oppression over your family I come against it right now I'm still hearing that name Godia who is that hold on please hold on where are you from huh you are from Kat Saminaka hold on please your sister blood sister same father same mother you've been praying for God to locate you it's okay you hi the spirit of death is over your family huh? that's what I'm saying I'm seeing you dreaming and dreaming of dead people they will come and they are calling you sometimes they are saying you should eat together this is the spirit of death coming on the family but in the name of Jesus I use them as a point of contact if there is anybody under the sound of my voice that the spirit of death is coming upon you helper I caught spirit now name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a family money does not stay in your house no matter what happens once resources enter you love God but resources something must happen either sickness or they will steal it or something will come up I'm seeing what looks like a blue flame and it's resting on at least five people and the Lord is saying an end comes to financial hardship father where are they right now I stretch my hands let that anointing locate you right now in the name of Jesus Christ please lift your voice and begin to pray my friend your hands shout Jesus as loud as you can an end comes now in the name of Jesus Christ Please lift your voice and pray in the spirit, everyone. My dear, look at me. I command that spirit to leave you now. Of darkness must let you go in Jesus' name. Lift your voice and pray, everyone. Please pray. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Please pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit, everyone. Madam, help this woman so that she doesn't fall with it. I command everything that is not of God to let you go now. Release this woman's destiny now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oppression leaves right now. Someone here, there is a spirit that has oppressed your family. It must go now. I command that devil of darkness, help her please. That spirit must leave now. In the name of Jesus. Please everyone pray in the spirit. Everyone pray in the spirit. God is visiting us right now. Shela kaproska da barunda shalakose. One media person here, there is an anointing resting on someone. The Lord is bringing to end the captivity on your family. I'm seeing it by the Spirit of God. Captivity coming to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, let it end now by the Spirit of the living God. Let it end now in the name of Jesus. My friend, I'm seeing what, what looks like a towel on you. And the Lord is wiping away infirmity. In the name of Jesus. Infirmity. Let it go right now. Please make sure you are praying. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. The spirit of death. There is a family here. That spirit must go now. The spirit of death. Release them now. In the name of Jesus. Release them now. Release them now. The spirit of death. There will be no obituary. I command that devil to go now. Madam, excuse me. Madam, look at me. Come. Are you a man of God? Come. You too. Please come. I don't know you. Where are you coming from, sir? Where do you, what do you have to do with Adamawa? Is it Anambra? Huh? Who is from Anambra? Me, from Anambra State. You came all the way. Ah. There is a grace to see that God is going to be delivering to you. Number two, there is speed in ministry. That God, I don't know you, sir. I've not seen you. You're, you're together. You're a man of God, too. You're a man of God. You're a ministry. Can I pray for you, sir? 
because I'm seeing this anointing, strange anointing come on you. You will go back and it's going to be fire all the way. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this man of God. Step into that grace in the name of Jesus. The anointing of the Holy Spirit, you will never be the same. Can I pray for you, sir? By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, drink of this wine, you will never be the same. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Mommy, let me pray for you. Hold on, please. Please stand up. Stand up. Who is Jennifer? Jennifer. 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 The Lord is visiting. The Jennifer I'm seeing, you are outside. You are holding a child. Jennifer. Jennifer. Is there someone like that? Oh, please oh, confirm. I'm, what's your name? They always confirm before you allow Jennifer, them. Sir. Jennifer. Is this your child? Yes, sir. Where are you coming from? From this is my state. Huh? From GRA. No, no. Where, where are you coming? Kaduna State. Kaduna State. Yes. I want to pray for you. So that the spirit that makes marriages to not work in your family will not catch up with you. Does Amen. it make sense what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Well, this boy has a great destiny. Forget about whatever it is that has happened or not happened. I want to pray for you. The Lord located you to bless you. What's his name? Fortune. 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 Yes, I will pray for you. Mama, where are you coming from? I came from Togo. You came from Togo? Yes, just yesterday. Just yesterday? Yes. What are you trusting God for? Oh, my daughter in America. She's the one that sent me to you. She has been seeing you in her dream. You have done so many things for her in the dream. Then she said that I must come. So that through me, you will not get her. She's asking for contract. That is contract that she's seeking for. She... Just calm down, madam. You came all the way from Togo. Yes, sir. Let me tell you what God will do in your life. First, not even just your daughter. Eh? <laughs> Leave your daughter's issue. God is going to bring your daughter bodies you first that back pain huh? that back pain that you have you get up in the morning and there's severe back pain that back pain will leave you now that's number one number two the dead people you see in your dream huh? sometimes you go to bed and you see dead people, people who have died but they are alive talking to you i need to pray for you and then number three god is going to visit your daughter tell her the month of august is a month of breakthrough in the name of Jesus, be free right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Why are they here, please? Sir? You are a teacher. Did you apply for a job? Yes. Where? Uh, uh, Dambo International. Because I'm seeing a letter and I'm seeing congratulations. It, hold on. Ah, you are a teacher. Yes, sir. Where? With uh, KHMS. What is Dambo International? It's a school. Did I you know. apply there? Yes. Like I'm seeing that they are going to give you a job. Huh? I will pray for you, sir. Because this teaching you are doing is only for a while. There is a grace of entrepreneurship upon you. And that grace is going to come and God will shift you to a dimension. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. How many children do you have? One. Just one. Yes, sir. I have one no hold on don't be embarrassed eh? i'm seeing one child then the vision changes and i'm seeing two again huh you have one you have two what is the mystery explain before i married her i have a son outside okay before you married her you have a child the, yes sir. okay i want to pray don't don't make sure you treat the child with honor and grace all the children that came out from you are great children you understand please don't fight that child eh, madam you hear what i'm telling you yes i know that we live in a, a society that sometimes all kinds of troubles can come but may god grant you the grace to manage things well sir there is a grace of wealth that is upon you please look at me it looks like you're a teacher but your destiny is not a teacher you are a real kingdom financier and there is a grace for finances that should come upon you please look at me you see this woman she's a good woman don't ever let the devil use the face of any devil and use her face to make it look as if this is an evil woman and don't let any prophet anywhere tell you this woman is a witch in the name of jesus i tell you god gave you a good woman she's a good woman madam 
you are a good woman in the name of jesus let me pray for you sir please hold my hands in the name that is above all names i open up every closed door over your life and destiny i shift you to that realm of wealth in jesus name the person look up please the person who comes to molest you when you sleep it comes to an end now in the name of jesus every fraternity with darkness is gone now and gone forever in the name of jesus i don't know why why are they here who is sarah are you married we are not more together huh i have two children but we are not together with you you are father. not together with your husband yes. were you married no this is what i'm saying come you need to be delivered eh if not i'm seeing four children you will add two more and yet you are not married i'm not i hope you are not feeling bad i hope you are not embarrassed god reveals so that he can redeem eh? you are not a bad woman you are not an immoral woman it's a spirit you hear what i'm saying come let me pray for you Aye. the power of god is coming on one of you here one of you standing here now the anointing of the holy spirit is coming on one right now it's not something you can resist i'm this i'm seeing it in the spirit that the power of god is going to come upon one of you and when that happens then i'm going to prophesy to that one person right now it's an anointing from heaven that is coming upon one of you here and the lord is saying that he's taking away sickness from the midst of you taking away sickness my dear in the name of jesus is it the same man that has the children yes huh? yes why doesn't he want to marry you he didn't pay for my dowry he didn't pay for your dowry yes go and tell him that i said he should pay for your dowry huh dowry is not building project he should pay for your dowry and give these children a chance please at this level it's no longer about their comfort the children need a father may god grant him grace and give him money to pay your dowry and be a good man in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing written in the air polygamy god is breaking that spirit now no 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 just please just keep quiet i'm ministering there is a spirit of polygamy everybody in that family you can't do with one man alone or one woman alone that anointing is locating people right now to break the spirit is a covenant it's not a desire coincidences continue to put themselves together to lead people to trouble right now that spirit please help them in the name of jesus inside outside everywhere the spirit of polygamy is being broken right now the spirit of polygamy is being broken right now sir let me pray for you where are you coming from sir Port Harcourt, what do you do? Do business. You do business. But things are not going well. Yes, huh? If I don't pray for you, I'm seeing you in the court because of money, debt. Huh? I hope you're not embarrassed. You came here so that I pray for you. What are you trusting God for? I'm trusting God for breakthrough in my business. Breakthrough in your business. First, your. My wife, uh, I've listened to your tape for about seven days now. And the last dream she had, you came to pray for her. I she insisted that you come through the night today i will pray for you more than business breakthrough sir is your relationship with god do you understand please don't be embarrassed but your relationship with god in this kingdom we prosper as our souls prosper not at the detriment of our soul so that there's, there's too much spiritual distraction around your life i pray that god will cause your heart to love him more than money in the name of jesus and that in so doing he will bless you and lift you I decree and declare I don't know why all of you came but in the name of Jesus I declare that everything that is not of God leaves you right now where is this lady from come where are you from I'm from Nesara Estate you are from where Nesara how many are you I'm from extended family we are many plenty. you are plenty yes. you don't know how many yes but oh. in my mother's side we are eight two have gone we are six now are you married no the man coming around your life I drive him from your life now and forever Amen. Amen. you hear what I'm saying yes, sir. the man that I'm seeing I drive him in the name of Jesus the son Amen. of the living God 
he will go back and you'll be surprised he will tell you there's no time he cannot call you he's busy just know that god drove him from your life to save you from trouble are you ready for a child now so you have to be careful huh i send him again in the name of jesus christ before he destroys your innocent life what do you do i'm learning salon huh? i'm learning salon you are, i'm not here i'm learning salon hair dressing yes sir. i'll have to pray for you come huh i place favor on your life in the name of jesus Amen. may the lord help you in the name of jesus christ we're going to pray for the sick shortly but the lord is showing me a very serious vision i'm looking at people but i'm not seeing a face and this is not the first time i see these kinds of vision the moment i see this kind of things is a sign that you know the devil has just tried to tarnish the glory of people the bible says to not let your good be evil spoken of there there is a way that you are good but it's like people continue to misunderstand you right now in the name of jesus I stretch my hands. I'm seeing an anointing coming on those people. That veil that covers your face. Always putting you in trouble. I tear off that veil now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our time is gone. We have to be fast. Now please listen very carefully. God is touching everyone, every single one under the sound of my voice. Three things will happen right now. Number one, make sure you are here with your prayer request. If you are not here with it, please pen down. It's an act of faith very quickly. What you're trusting God for, lift it up. Let the ushers have it. Number two, we're going to minister to the sick right now. We'll do it very, very fast. And then I'll pray on it and we'll prophesy. Open doors for everyone. We have to make this very, very fast. Are we together? While you are doing that, please be praying in the spirit. There are people here who are trusting God for themselves and their families. Please listen. Let's listen outside, inside. Let's listen to the instruction. Please. All those who are standing, trusting God for fruit of the womb. Whether you are in overflow, one, two, three. I want to pray for you myself. Are we together? Particularly for those trusting God for the fruit of the womb. And, but then aside from that... Um, overflow one please listen listen from the start of overflow two that means the end of cgc and inside here that's overflow two um overflow three is from the end of cgc down to second equa okay you are overflow two b let's call it two b are we together then the overflow from the beginning of this fence down right down there we'll call you overflow 2c please listen then there's overflow 3 i don't know if you understand what i'm saying this is the main auditorium this is overflow 1 this is overflow 2 then from this place down to second equis overflow 2b from that same place down is overflow 2c so that so that you would know if you are trusting God, no matter what overflow for the fruit of the womb, I'll pray for you. But then all who are in here, overflow one, I mean overflow here, please, you're trusting God for healing, come stand here. Overflow one, come and stand in front of your projector stand. Overflow two, stand in front of your projector stand. Overflow 2A, please create a space for them there. Overflow 2A, create a space for them there. And then overflow 2C, stand in front of your projector stand and then overflow three you can stand in um in front of your projector stand those online connect by faith and then we'll pray we'll pray with you we're going to do this very fast we thank god there are many hands today and while they minister to you i would like you to believe god for a miracle you are a man of god you are a ministry here open up your heart and connect you are trusting god for the grace for signs wonders Make sure that you connect. The worship team will be leading us through powerful sessions of worship while we do that. And concurrently, while that is happening, please make sure you submit your prayer request. Everyone, make sure you pen down your prayer request. And then we are going to pray on it and let the God of heaven visit us right now. In the name of Jesus, praise the Lord. Um,
Ejimi and Promise and Bishop Manasseh. Ejimi and Promise and Bishop Manasseh will do Overflow 3. There are quite a number of people there. Overflow 3. Um, Benga will do Overflow 2. Overflow 2. Pastor Alpha and Ima. You do Overflow 1. Um, overflow 1. We need a way of reaching Overflow Kenny. Kenny will do overflow to B. Overflow to B. We'll do overflow to B. And then Isaac, Isaac in media, you will do overflow to C. Let's make it that way. Praise the Lord. Father, we stand under this corporate grace and we decree and declare in the name of Jesus that as we minister to everyone across, let your healing power touch, deliver, set free in the name of Jesus. Do this and be glorified even by the power of the Holy Spirit. Please, we'll do it very, very fast. And while you are seated, make sure you are agreeing, releasing your faith in the name of Jesus. Madam, you lift, lift your hands. You, this woman. No, the one wearing blue and white. Yes, lift your hand. I'm seeing oil coming on your head. And the Lord is saying he's taking away reproach and he's lifting you. This is what I'm seeing. An anointing is coming on you right now. And the Lord is saying he's taking away reproach. And he's bringing an oil of gladness upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Father, let there be miracles, signs, wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Please stretch your hands to the prayer request. Begin to pray in the spirit. Lord, you are the God that answers prayers. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Pray over these requests. He said, these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. There is a covenant of answered prayer in this place. Lift your voice and pray. Father, I decree and I declare. I prophesy, I proclaim by the spirit of grace that this is a representation of the pain of people, a representation of their hunger. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, are you praying? Decree and declare that everything written here in the name of Jesus will become a testimony. Everything written here, we invoke the power of the Holy Ghost upon every request here supernatural deliveries terminations of delay open doors new spiritual dimensions in the name of jesus admissions graduations jobs marriages children restoration advancement promotion in the name that is above all names we decree and declare Make sure you are praying. Make your declaration. These that are brought before the God of all flesh will never, never, never return as a disappointment. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Those online joining us from all over the world, connect in the name of Jesus. From America to Asia, the UK, Canada, everywhere, we decree and declare that your requests are turned into testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Listen. I want you to understand that this is not a ritual. This is a mystery. Are we together now? There are all kinds of testimonies that have come. In. I can prophesy and there is so much. I can be limited. I cannot discern everybody's expectation. But this is a representation of your hunger. It's a representation of your tears. And let me tell you this, please don't get familiar with this. This is not some, some spiritual thing just for the fun of it. There is power in what we are doing. It's guided by understanding, it's guided by an anointing. And God has a covenant, he's protected by his jealousy. In the name of Jesus, Paul said, For this cause I, Paul, bow my knees before the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, that he may grant unto you. In the name of Jesus, I declare upon you that the Egyptians you see today, that you will see them no more forever. 
in the name of Jesus every request here that is a death sentence cancer HIV and any kind of incurable disease we turn it around right now in the name of Jesus every impossible situation represented here may the God of wonders arise tonight in the name of Jesus and do wonders by the power of the Holy Ghost for those of you who have submitted these requests on behalf of your loved ones I declare may the angel of God's presence these angels that do not know time and distance may they go to your various homes and to your loved ones and birth supernatural solutions in the name of Jesus Christ we decree and declare that you remain above this challenge forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I declare over your life we're entering the second half of the year it says revive thy work O God in the midst of the year I decree and declare every spiritual weariness every prayerlessness it dies right now in the name of Jesus passion for the things of the spirit like never before hunger for spiritual things in the name of Jesus I declare prayer fire like never before let it rest upon your life now I decree and declare an appetite for God and the things of God I declare you receive it right now I pray over your life every long-standing issue you have prayed you have fasted you have sought counsel it has refused to change in the name that is above all names I decree and declare by this time next month return with your testimony by this time next month return with your testimony please believe it don't just shout amen believe it I come against patterns you have seen it in others you saw it in your father you saw it in your loved ones you saw it in your siblings now it's beginning to happen by the blood of the eternal covenant I cancel every pattern now I cancel every pattern now it works for everybody until it gets to your turn then something happens you will see it but you never possess it I declare right now that spirit that makes you to see things and never step into it is caused by the God of heaven caused by the God of heaven everything that was given to you in the realm of the spirit already I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead this month coming it must enter your hands I declare that it must enter your hands there are families where is the women that feed the men have you seen such families no matter how hard-working the men are they never feed the family they get up in the morning and play draft from morning till night while the women go to fend it's an anomaly I declare by the Spirit of God I'm praying for the men now the grace for establishment and the grace to be satisfied early receive that anointing right now it says satisfy me early I'm saying it again everybody here who is a man and it looks like the devil wants you to depend on people for the rest of your life I decree and declare like Jacob Laban must let you go in the name of Jesus I pray for every Mordecai here you have been good to others you have been good to kings your records have been written but you have not been rewarded in this season by the Spirit of God we open a book of remembrance in the name of Jesus Christ
Hallelujah. Anyone here called jobless by the God of heaven between now and the next three months, like the ark of God in the house of Oben Edom, I decree and declare jobs that will be consolations to your years of pain. May my God give it to you. Every dying business, hear the word of the Lord. I don't care what has happened. By the spirit that raised Christ from the dead, I speak to you, come back to life now. Come back to life now. Everyone who is in ministry here, no matter what level there are dimensions, I pray for you. You will go back to your various churches, fellowships and assemblies and a dimension of fire, a dimension of insight you have never seen, receive in the name of Jesus. Everyone here called barren by the God of heaven, in the name of Jesus, according to the time of life, return with your children. These are not empty prophecies. Believe them. They are backed up by the jealousy of God. They will come to pass. In the name of Jesus. I don't know where the helpers of your destiny are. But in the name of Jesus, every man who must arise in this season for your sake, to favor you, wherever they are around this globe, by the spirit of grace, I call them to your life now. I call them to your life now. The Bible says that strangers shall feed your flock. It says your gates shall be open continually. It shall not be shut day nor night that you will receive the forces of the Gentiles. People you do not know, I compel them to be interested in your lifting. In the name of Jesus Christ. I prayed a prayer like this one time. And one of us, God just opened a door. And a bank met him to sell a property for them worth 450 million naira. Listen, it doesn't take time. It doesn't take time. There is the creative dimension of prophecy that can order things in your life every area of struggle I stand by the God of heaven who is called Ebenezer the God of Jeshurun in the name of Jesus receive help from the Lord I want to pray for people who have ideas and have projects but it seems to never go out of the book you have ideas you have projects is just to connect you with somebody who has the interest nobody helps you on their own they are called by prophecy in the name of Jesus right now I connect your ideas to your helpers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I forgot to pray for those who are in various institutions writing their exams. I know that many people had started their exams. Some have written. And the honest truth is that some of you have written nonsense. You need the mercy of God. In the name that is above all names. Much more than what you have written. In the name of Jesus. May the mercy of God show up in your exam. There is a dimension of finances that comes by prophecy. Please pay attention. Our time is gone, but I want to speak this into your life. There are people who are not very smart. The prophetic dimension is not a license to not be valuable. The prophetic dimension is a system of advantage to bridge tragedy while you learn. It's a system of God's mercy. 
it will be foolish to believe that wealth is only by principles there are laws and there are irrefutable principles that make for the foundation but there is the ordinance of prophecy in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God the God who has helped me by his grace the God who has helped this ministry I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit between now and the end of July may your finances turn around in a way that will surprise you may your finances turn around in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for those who are under any kind of project building project whatever it is the hand that started that project is the same hand that must finish that project in the name of Jesus Christ everyone here due for promotion but has been kept because of the wickedness and the sentiments of men go back into your next level in the mighty name of Jesus Christ finally I want to pray for you honor is the ability to discern to celebrate and to reward a man for his uniqueness it's not enough for your value to be discerned you must live a rewarded life you will be frustrated if you do not live a rewarded life I pray for you the eyes that can perceive and can discern your value I connect you to those eyes in the name of Jesus any pit you have found yourself in I must pray this financially whatever it is you have found yourself in a situation where only God can bring you out may that God you believe in bring you out of it now in the name of Jesus finally I want to prophesy again the grace for this year's prophetic word the Lord declared that it's a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. Every part of that prophecy that is yet to speak in your life, by the force of right words and by the power of the, no, the name that is above all names, I declare to you, may your life experience extraordinary fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus Christ may you return with testimonies some of you this night before you get to your homes your phones you will see text messages that are full of wonders in the name of Jesus Christ father we give you all the praise we bless you because you have honored this house you have made it a place of answers you have made it a place of strange testimonies. Let everything that you have done tonight by your spirit return as testimonies. Let it not just be a ceremony. In the name of Jesus, we declare by the spirit of the Christ, testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now, very quickly, I will make an altar call and then we'll take a few very important announcements and we're done. Apologize, our time is gone. You are here in this place. Please, let's minimize movement, especially outside. You are here and you are saying, Apostle, I've not given my heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. I need to encounter his salvation and his mercy. Please listen. Or you are here, you are saying, Man of God, I've seen the wonders. I once gave my heart to the Lord. But as it is right now, I need mercy. I need grace. I need to start afresh. You are here inside overflow one two three and all the other annexes i want to give you five minutes you want to make it right with jesus wherever you are i want you to leave your seat very boldly and come and stand right here it'll be my joy to lead you to jesus christ don't wait for someone be the first i'll count one to five wherever you are please start running clear the way for them please outside one quickly quickly please if you're coming run quickly run to jesus two Win that war today. 
Win that war today. Win that war today. The Bible says, in the day that you hear his voice, do not harden your heart as they did in the provocation in the wilderness. Three, someone is still coming. Apostle, I'm not sure if I'm born again or not. Join them very quickly. Join them very quickly. I expect people to come from outside. Please clear the way for those coming from outside. Clear the way for those coming from outside. Overflow. One, two, three. If you're coming, don't be sluggish. Run very quickly. We're out of time. Run quickly. Run quickly. We're out of time. Apostle, I want to come, but I'm ashamed and afraid of my colleagues and contemporaries. Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me before men, I will be ashamed of you before my father. Come quickly. Come quickly. Come quickly. Come quickly. Give them a big God bless you whilst they come. Takes a lot of courage, but win that war. Young and old, run to Jesus. The Bible says, ye must be born again. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to salute all of you. Thank you so much for coming to make this decision. Lift your right hand high to heaven and say this after me. You're not reciting a poem. This is from the depth of your heart. Jesus is here. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe in you that you are the Son of God. I have seen your wonders and I declare that I need you. This night, I declare that you are my Lord, you are my Savior, you are my King. I receive your life, I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. And I declare that I reign in life. I am a child of God, I'm changed forever. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Jesus, I present to you the ones you died for i thank you because when you hung on that cross they were worth your blood they were worth the tears they were worth the death i pray in the name of jesus according to scripture your sins are forgiven and the grace to walk in victory is released upon you right now in the name of jesus i decree and declare forever you go from glory to glory even by the spirit of god everything that is not of god i come against it right now the grace to live victorious is released upon you. From today, you go forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. I congratulate you. I salute you. Very quickly, everyone in concert, I want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands. And you have a few people just welcome you on our behalf. God bless you very quickly. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us if you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin